when they say it's the biggest show of the night, let alone the biggest event of the year, that's when you know history is hanging right above you. European Uprising. The event where all the wrestlers of the WWE perform like they've never performed before. To see potential talent rise, to achieve dreams, to make them a reality. Those who want to achieve greatness. But then there are those who fall just so short of victory and fail and their pride is shattered. An event where champions are crowned, future legends are made, and those from the past returning to seek greater glory than they ever could. But now, in 2024, European Uprising returns bigger, stronger than it ever was. The stars have now aligned, shining ever so bright in all their minds, lighting up the sky and the night within its own glory light. The continent of Europe now unite under one banner, and the brotherhood of WWE fans come as one to see the great show unfold in front of their very eyes. Now, you have a chance to be part of history, to see what could be potential title changes, future legends making their stand, and seeing the fall of those who made wrestling what it was. Welcome to the biggest show of a lifetime. Welcome to European Uprising 2. Two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Wrestling Alliance. Welcome to European Uprising 2. We are live and sold out, jam-packed in Cardiff, Wales. And ladies and gentlemen, what a night we've got ahead of us. I'm good old JR alongside Comrade Thompson and JBL. And boys, we are ready and locked and loaded for a night of unforgettable pro wrestling action. Hey now, hold up, hold up, hold up, JR. We spoke about this. I'm the host of the show now. You see all those signs around me, read all those advertisements? That's because I am pumping my own money into the show and making it as big as it is. Look at this place. I am so excited. Let me tell you, what a night this is going to be. European Uprising, we're in Cardiff, Wales. Ho oh, ho! Ric Flair and Fortune are going to be running the show, and it's going to be the best one in ages. Much better than that crappy one last year. And don't forget to go out to adfreeshows.com to get an exclusive match. That's right, an exclusive match from backstage of the locker room exclusively with adfreeshows.com. Aren't you excited, JBL? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scripture, real excited. Just super thrilled to be here, guys. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Europe at Rising 2. And here he comes, the man himself, Ric Flair, oh. along with, oh, no fortune out with him, but he doesn't need them. He's the man. He is the man to be in the wrestling business, and now he is the man in WWE. You can bet the Nature Boy has something to say about tonight's monumental main event. <laughs> Oh, that damn comrade who entered my main event there. So uh, we're back in Cardiff, Wales for the second time only with the biggest crowd on hand. And not surprising, Ric Flair comes out to steal the spotlight. I'm Glenn Barker, the ex owner of the WWA, along with Bradley. Yo, 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 we are here. And wait a minute, what's this banging it on the ambulance door? Hold on. Tom, oh. what the hell are you doing in here? Oh, there you are, Tom. I'm here somehow. Not wife, Dar, folks. Uh, good to be back in the la literally the land of my father, Cardiff and Wales. Last, uh, and last but not least, we have Carl Dustin with us, the owner of AEW. I'm here to scout the man who's been stealing my world champion. Wait, what? Ooh. What? Wales! Get up on your feet! Make some noise! Because the Nature Boy and Fortune are in! The building. And tonight, you are in for a skeptical like no other. 
WWA European Uprising 2 is going to be a night of champions. A night of legends. And most importantly, a night where my son-in-law, Andrade El Idolo, will prove once again why he is the greatest world heavyweight champion this industry and this company has ever seen. And tonight, in the main event, Andrade will go one-on-one -on -one with, the, with the winner of the Art of War Rumble, the former Big Red Machine, Kane. Well, let me tell you something, Kane. You may be a monster, but Andrade is a wrestling god. Woo! He is drinketh from the cup of Ric Flair, the patriarch of the royal family. There is nobody dead or nobody alive who can take this title from him because he has a special enforcer in this match. And that special enforcer is the nature boy, Ric Flair. Uh-oh. Rick. Huh? Hey, Rick. Up here. It's me. Triple H doing here. Hunter. <laughs> it's Easter. You know what? You've been ducking and dodging my phone calls for months. So you know what? I should have seen this coming. But let we me tell you this. Me. I'm done with your games. I'm done oh with your politics. I have sold, so you know what, I have decided to do something about it. I've sold my shares of WWE to the, what network. the network. To the network? That's You're right. What? And I've decided to sign a, a brand new contract. And I That's signed it time? with All Elite Wrestling. Oh, no, That's <laughs> right, Rick. Screw you, I'm out of here. <laughs> Oh my god, where are we? This, com this company you know getting what, sold multiple times. I had a times. feeling what you would try to blow a little stunt like this. Well, was a bit Dave, brother, but you know what to do. About? Oh shit, no! Oh, it's just punch of oh. oh, Damn. <sighs> do I have your attention now, Hunter? Wait. What do you want me to do with him, Rick? Wait, but he's just been forcing guys. Give me a favor. Yes. What the? Drop that piece of garbage off in Jacksonville where he belongs. Damn. You got it, hun. You got it, Rick. I'll see you in Italy for night of astonishment. So Triple H is worth significantly less than he was five minutes ago, Carl. Let's get Enjoy down that. to business. Ah, he's got beat down. He's been beat down we most million recently times. had he's the draft he's got a and the trade, and WWE just got made. some pretty good draft picks. But right, we also made some trades. At least the Nature Boy was wheeling and dealing yeah. once again. Yeah, half <laughs> your women's roster. William Regal <laughs> and Mr. Johnson, you thought you had me all figured out, didn't you? You know what? You can keep Hunter. Keep him. Because I've just pulled off the biggest coup. I've pulled off the biggest swerve in professional wrestling history. That's it. That's right, folks. I have signed the current AEW World in the Heavyweight <laughs> Champion. Wait. The phenomenal AJ Styles. Yeah, AJ Styles. WWE yeah. contract. It's true. It's true. There's AJ! Rick, thank you. It's an honor to be coming to the WWE. I've had some mixed feelings on some of the things you've been doing lately. And hopefully we can have a prosperous partnership. And let me promise you this. After my last night, my last night of my existing contract with AEW, I will be bringing the AEW World Heavyweight Championship right here to the WWE because I only just won that belt. I ain't gonna lose it. And let me promise you this. After I bring this title over to the WWE, we are gonna take over 
and there's only going to be one world champion in the WWE and the wrestling world who anybody's talking about, and that's the champion of one company, the defense in another, because I am phenomenal. Wow. MJF, a- you're going down, and now I've got even more motivation. You know why? Because I'm going to do something that nobody's ever done. I'm going to defend a title from one company on another. And not in some CM Punk way where it's illegal. I'm going to make sure (laughs) that AEW acknowledges it and acknowledges me as the true world champion. Hey, Dwayne, you want to trade me away while I'm still your champion? Let's see what you get for it, you son of a bitch. Yes, AJ, you tell them. WWE. WWE just... Rick oh. Flair, you may have hell? pulled off your little stunt that tonight, dude again? but don't this forget who hard. really holds the power now. Since Triple H sold his shares to us, we control 50% of the World Wrestling Alliance. And we are going to fix what you've broken. This is the network? Restore the Lucky yeah, Seven yeah. rule. Or will strip call. Andrade and Charlotte Flair, your son-in-law and your precious daughter, of their championship belts. Oh, boy. And believe me, <laughs> we have the power to do it. Damn right. <sighs> All right, fine. You've got it. The Lucky Seven is back. But remember, this isn't over, not by a long shot. It's far from over, Rick. Tonight's main event, Andrade vs. Kane. That will have a special referee. Oh dear, a special and referee that special is the will be revealed when the time is right. Have a nice day. Bang. Bang. Whoa. What? Oh my god, what an explosive you hear that? star! Hang on! That can't be who I think it is! Fortune scrap on the uh, WWE I, 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 is being I, I, tested I, I, like never before. I doubt that means anything, I'm pretty sure I know the who that is, world. by the way. The Lucky Seven Rule and a mysterious what a event. It's special all been referee on the main event. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. Whatever, it's worth a real thing to happen now. I was talking to someone earlier about coming into a lot of money. I can't believe I can't believe what we've just seen. Flurry's got his hands full tonight, and this main event just became even more pre- This isn't right! This just became so unpredictable! This- They, they can't do this! I don't know what's they, worse. They, they Being stuck in the fortune, or dealing with whatever the network's got planned. Either way, it's gonna be a wild ride tonight. Well, here we go, it guys. With the opening contest. It's Ally Knight. Oh boy, it's Alan Knight and Johnny Fortune. I hope he isn't, isn't going to talk to us. He tends the to do that for a long time. When he Europe goes. Uprising 2. No, it's not this time, Tom. Alan Knight is all business tonight. Yeah, yeah um, anybody, any, anybody got any thoughts on um, uh, who might be behind the network? I mean, I, I've got a few friends uh, who've got some money, uh, so, you know. No! Mm, are you going to bet on it? Ain't no who it's going to be. Well, sure, Ali Knight doesn't know who it is. He's too busy focused on Johnny Fortune because this is the third time now they've met in the uh, Best of Seven mm-hmm. series. Best of seven series, yep. This is the third so match. What, so, so what, what, what is it? One and one? Two and one? What, what's the score? It's two one? one. It's two and no, two at the no, minute. No, no, two and oh right now in favor of Knight. Yeah. Ooh, so if LA Knight wins this one, then for- Johnny Fortune has got to win all of them to, to win. To catch yeah, up. Basically. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, really, this one's like a, this one. This one's quote a six point for. Uh, also, this one's quote a six point for Johnny Fortune. He needs this win. Fortune. Yes, it does. You can see the stage there, guys. Yeah, I've got to love the ba- I've got to love the banner that implies that Andrade died tonight. <laughs> you mean he got burnt really, alive? It, no, it really, that banner, that, that Andrade Alino banner looks like the kind of banner you have at a funeral. Like, well, I mean, he, how many people do you bury that have death masks? What did Johnny Stoyer have when he had his wrestling gimmick? I mean, that's why they're called I mean, death Andrade, masks, though. 
Yeah, oh, yeah. Well. Andrade, but nine times out of ten, he's wearing a, a Dea de los Muertos mask. Well, that's that how he started true. in the mask. Back in the but day, when he was working in his business. We're kicking off for these opening contests between LA Knight and Johnny Fortune. And what a match this will be. These, uh, this British crowd, this Welsh crowd are going wild for seeing these mm -hmm. stars here tonight. As the sun sets in the pretty can, you, can, you can always Does rely... Yeah. Yes, it does. We've, yes, uh, it does, Bradley. We got a few. We got a few uh, advertisements. Ric Flair and Conrad, his son-in-law, cashing in there's, here tonight. It seems. There's the BlueChew.com on the stage. BlueChew at three shows. Oh my god. And there's the Woo drinks. Yeah, you can, always, you can you can always rely on the fans in Cardiff to put on a good audience, to put on a good show because. Um, uh, you don't see big shows like this all that often in Wales. No. So we're in this you know, fantastic, we're in this the, uh... fantastic stadium as the sun sets in the beautiful city of Cardiff. Yeah, we're in the Principality Stadium. Uh, for those of you more lo more local who hate uh, advertised-based stadiums, this is the Millennium Stadium. It will always be the Millennium Stadium. You can stick your Principality up your ass. It will be. It, it is the Millennium <laughs> Stadium. That is what it is. Well, that's look out, but a oh, thumb to the eyes from Johnny, you know, but uh, LA Knight sends him flying over the top rope with a huge back body drop. Yeah, and they're I've right been, in front of us. I, I have been, I have been to this oh. stadium. I've watched the Wales international with the crowds now. Soccer team here. Uh, and Johnny, 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 oh, Johnny nice going after him. Uh, uh, really uh, taking Johnny his gets a little time. There. Yeah, he was, oh. I think he was. I think he was trying to pose for that woman in the front row, which is what he does best. Is it? Does, does I mean, anyone know um, what the uh, what the crowd attendance is here tonight? I've got oh, exactly. It's a big one. I, think, I think it's still being counted, but uh, yeah, we'll have a confirmed you... attendance later on. Uh, I believe Glenn will have those stats. Well, the current record is still being held in uh, in Germany when we had about what fifty one thousand fans. That's still yeah. the biggest record. This is the probably the closest to shattering that record. Well, I'll yeah, get the well, stats maybe. Yeah, get the, confirm the stats for us later. I will. Oh, snake eyes. Can... Apologies for a yeah, bit of uh, interruption with your feet there, folks. That was uh, to not adjust your sets. That was something on our end. We've got to clear it now. Well, right now, guys, uh, you can tell it's a must win for Johnny Fortune because he's 2 and 0 right now against LA Knight. So uh, if he wins it, he will absolutely change the game of this best of seven series. But if LA Knight wins this third matchup, then Johnny, like Tom said, Johnny will have to win all four matches in order to be able to at least to win. Okay, that is, Tom, that, that is, that is if LA Knight wins this match. If, if, for, if yes. Johnny Fortune wins this match, he is only one behind. Mm -hmm. It's not doom and gloom. He has the other matches to tie it up. And here comes oh, that burning hammer burning again. Oh, burning hammer! Oh, oh my god! Burning hammer, that might be it. That might be Nitro it. Nitro is down. Oh, sorry, yeah, Fortune is down. The solo oh, no, game during his career. Yeah, Bradley missed the elbow. Johnny. Johnny Fortune, and look at this. Spanish oh, fly. Oh, whoa. Standing Spanish fly. Those are hard Five, to do. One. Well, he change of oh. change of the late Chris, change of the late Chris Travis, and also change of Paul Birchall as well. With no, that yeah, I mean he is an athletic marvel. He's good old Johnny. Oh, what a kick! Oh, oh. change of Kobe Kingston. SOS, that's uh, where it was. Yeah, Pages. spinning kick. But he kicks out. Yeah, but, oh, you too, can. You can dip. But I mean, as a, as Ellie Knight said at the uh, build up of this, that. Uh, Johnny is known for his fancy flips, and as well as his time in Lucha Libre, that helped him to per perfect those flips. He was also inspired by Shawn Michaels and the Macho Man Randy Savage to get into the business as well. There, Bradley, just to give you a heads up. Yep. He certainly has oh, wait a flare minute. And... Talking about flair, oh, and we're going to go for some Starship pain. Starship pain. <laughs> oh, no, it is. That might do it. Here he goes. One, one. Be it. Two. two, and it is. It. That two was so quick. Two to one in this best of seven series. Um, Morris, I mean, Johnny just made short work of LA Knight. That was like little more than it seven was, minutes. It was back in this and forth for a while there, but wow. all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Starship Pain will put any man down. And they put LA Knight down tonight. I certainly, I certainly hope Johnny wasn't. Um, uh, uh, flirting with the women in the front row. I'm sure his wife is no, very wasn't. happy with that. 
Heavy I'm security quite, I'm, are online. I'm, quite, I'm quite scared Johnny. of Johnny's wife. So oh, he should be too. Well, he's got oh, a bit of a weird women, but... Whoa. Oh. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a he's minute. Going, he's going under the ring. Oh no. He's got a oh, chilling no, he's, guys. He's, he's gonna do some damage to LA Knight. LA Knight is a bit... He's a bit discombobulated after that match. Oh, oh my, god. my god! You won the match for God's I'm, sakes! That's what I was going to say. You won the match. Enough's enough. He beat him cleanly and now he's but, rubbing in his face. This is an but, insult now from Johnny Fortune. Oh, oh right god. to the head. But what you, you've you got to say, there is, there is a level of smartness to this. He knows he's got to have another four matches with this man. Oh. If, that, if, if, if LA Knight has to roll into the ring uh, because he can barely walk, or because he he, he thinks he thinks his oh, name's Eli the Drake, oh, no. then um, Johnny Johnny Fortune wins his ma then matches by default. Damn it, Paul! I need you to get Cross ready for his title defense. We can't afford any slip ups. Yes, sir, Mr. Flair. Whoa, Paul Heyman! And wait a minute! Oh, Styles oh my and God! I'll be Dean. I know these guys. Oh my god. What are they doing here? Tommy Dreamer? Rob Van Dam? Bubba Ray Dudley? It's been... It's been too long, guys! It really has, Paul. Feels like we're back in the old ECW days. <laughs> hey, you remember how we ran rush shot over everyone? Man, those were the good old days. Yeah, but then we had to go to the NWA. And we were just there. Barely you did were anything. Shit. That's why. It wasn't like it was before. Paul, we really need to talk. We've all and just signed WWE so contracts, you. but something doesn't feel right. <laughs> this isn't the Paul Heyman we know. The one who fought tooth and nail for us. The one who believed in a vision of something different. Something extreme. Hey, I believe in the vision of Paul, something different. Just look not at what, what you become. believe in. You're in fortune. Rubbing shoulders with the guys like Ric Flair after Brett Lesnar got taken out. What have you done since then? You've been buried in the backstage politics, a far cry from the man who built ECW from the ground up. We want you back, Paul. We so want you back. We need you to be that guy again. The Are Paul we Heyman the of hardcore with again? Us, who bled for this business. Forget about fortune. Forget all about the suits and ties. Come back to us, Paul Heyman. Let's shake things up like the way we used to. I... I really need to think about it, Tommy. You guys aren't on the cards tonight, but I want you to be there, in the front and center. Watch the show, and maybe, just maybe, you'll see what I'm trying to do. We'll talk after. Wow, and now we're live on the, we're back to see what happened on the pre-show. It's the New Day against Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks for the six-man uh, tag team title. Well, I, under I understand you've got the capacity tonight. Yep, I've just got the capacity here, guys. Carl, I've got here. A new record has just been made. We have 74,500 fans stacked with you for Rising 2. Wow. That's how many have come. Uh, to have that many people, they must have come from not only Wales, but also England, Scotland, and all over Europe to fill this stadium tonight. Maybe some across the pond in America as well. Whoa. Whoa. But, but let's remember though, oh, look, look out guys, Whoa. oh my god. Well, this match was for the six man tag team championships. Well, let's not forget though that Kenny Omega, he stated in that promo that, that, that they would walk out of European Uprising with both the six man straps and the regular tag straps. But wait a minute, they what said it was. What's he doing? He just jumped off the apron and he's walking away. What's he doing? I think he was looking for the tag. What is it? Uh, what is up with Xavier? Oh, super kick party. Hang on, wait a minute. What? Xavier Woods. Oh, nearly got the gold. And I mean, I did. I, 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 I mean, Omega I did. The young 
I did hear I that. Six more dead, right? I did hear that. I did hear that Kofi Kingston had signed with another company. So uh, maybe Xavier knows this. Well, the big story here is David Woods has turned on his on the new day, and we have new six man tag team champions in the elite. Yeah. Of course, well, Young Bucks are going to be the face 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 tonight. Oh, and here comes. Here we go with Ember. We Moon. also saw a debut of. Um, well, we China's debut match. We also match. saw China have a match, yeah. Now, uh, she's making her a debut. Activated. China is finally able to compete in matches and not just interfere in matches, which is what she's been doing for the last few months. And she's going up against Ember Moon, who's been undefeated in the WWE, but unfortunately, I was told that this is in fact her last match. Her oh, contract has yeah. expired. I understand she, her contract expired too, yeah. Well, she either, either goes out China or is or sending her oh, down. Yeah, pretty great. Yeah, somebody, somebody, somebody in this company is failing to oh, renew contracts, which uh, is a bit of an issue. Bit of an issue. I mean, uh, well, his face uh, is all over know. the ring of the arena. Let's just. Let's just call a spade a spade, huh? It's yeah, well, the you've got to speed Ember Moon. She broke the streak. Ah, you've got to, you've got to keep your head. Abyss. You've got to keep your eyes on contracts, Gregory Helms guys, here. Anyway. It's reporter, Daily Globe. I was wondering if I could get your thought process on everything going on for European Uprising. Oh, Gregory Helms. You are right. This will be the night that fortune finally falls. All the talk and all the hype. From one part of Europe to another. And even the entire world caught hold of this story. The long away journey that my son Kane has embarked on. And finally, for the first time in a very, very long time, he will become a heavyweight champion. And Abyss? Oh yes. He too will follow my son, because he too now will become the next European champion of the WWE. And within a few short moments, my monster abyss will take what you have held, Killer Cross. What you stole from my son back in December finally returns within my monster's hands, and he will commence his own reckoning of destruction and the entire continent of Europe will not be safe. But as for you, Andrade, my son Cain has heard the stories, the legendary stories of the Nawala has followed through many generations within from where you live. And if you dare bring out that side of you, that shape-shifting form of yourself, I don't think it will be enough to defeat my son, but it will make you feel like you're half invincible. But whether you're a shapeshifter or not, regardless of the outcome, my son Cain will beat you senseless. He will make you suffer and bleed and will make you humble at your hands and knees as my son towers over you. You will be left beaten broken and incapacitated. And when the night is over, my two instruments of destruction will leave European Uprising 2 as your new European champion and world's heavyweight champion of the WWE. Oh, yes, indeed they will. <laughs> Hmm, very good focal points. But now let me ask, with this mysterious network figure now owning 50% of the WWE, and this mysterious guest referee, what is the, what is the thoughts on, on going into this with an unknown referee? This so-called network that you speak of, Gregory, that now owns 50% of this company? I have no unearthly idea myself, to be very honest. And don't even bother asking that question to Kano Abyss, for they seek no interest. So now, if you don't mind, I must take my son 
down into the bowels of this arena so that he can commence his final preparation before the main event. While Abyss goes and takes and claims the European Championship. And you heard it straight from Paul Bear, Betsy Ringside, Jim Ross, Comrade Thompson, and JBL. Well, guys, we are and back, us. and what a point of, wow. And look who's with us, guys. JJ, you've made it here just in time, and we are we're preparing for a uh, six-man match, apparently. Yeah, better late uh, than never, WBF guy. Jesus. Well, I've, be, I've been it's busy. I have a surprise one, later. Well, what six happened, man, JJ? Were you late? What co- were you late? Into Listen to the details. What was I late? Oh, boy, uh, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm good, we're line. halfway through the show, Three, Glenn. Two, Pay attention. No, actually, we're just getting started, JJ. We're worried about you. You're not the one who turned up in that car, are you, backstage? Depends on how nice it is. Well, it's a pretty decent car. I mean, I did, I did hear some things, you know. Well, whatever it was, Tom, uh, we, we'll, we'll say that until later. But right now, God, JJ, we, uh, are, yeah, we, are, we suppo- are we supposed to call him Jordan Devlin? Because it says JJ yeah. McDonough on his on his nameplate. Just ignore that. That was a naming error. That, that thanks to the Jimmy Ray. JD McDonalds. JD McDonalds is here. Well, he's not going to get a free burger, not, is it? Not enough red Anyways. and yellow, brother. Oh, Anyways, God. JJ, we've got the biggest crowd. We have 70, like 4,500 fans in this jam-packed here in Cardiff, Wales. The biggest show we've ever had. And, wow, it could get any better. Things are just getting even more bigger and impressive for Europe at Rising 2. And we're in for a wild ride. We've just seen um, and uh, Morrison tie up with uh, one to two. And now we saw the pre show matches. And here we go with this big six man tag match. With Jordan Devlin and Finn Balor with a mystery tag team player they're choosing against the new upcomers who have joined Fortune, who represent Team Andrade. And here comes the the former WBA champion. It's lovely lovely to see Jordan Devlin and his dad, Finn Balor, compete together. You know. They're not related, Tom, but I know what you no, mean. I know, no, I know, I know, I know, but like, um, Jordan Devlin does look like we're stuck from Finn Balor. You mean he's more like Finn Balor in his own home? Uh, no, it's, uh, yeah, yes indeed, yeah. Mom, can we have Finn <laughs> Balor? No, we've already well, got Jordan the, Devlin out. They were a quick ferry ride away from home, but they're not quite. Uh, yeah. No, but anyways, well, my, Finn my, uh, got... my question is, who's, who's the partner? Well, all I can tell you guys is someone in the new draft that Dude Ray picked, and it was a hot one. When I say it's a hot one, it was. And Valentine oh, it's, 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 um, it's not the bloke from YouTube who makes everyone makes celebrities eat those wings. No, be it's really not him. No, 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 no. I can confirm, guys. Can he that wrestle? The partner of the partner of Finn and Jordan Devlin is someone that was traded from the WWF. That's all I can say. Whoa. And look at that sea of humanity, Finn I, I has told you, I have, I have, I may have been late, but I brought plenty of surprises. I, I mm. promise. Is this one of them, JJ? I'll take credit for it. JJ turned, up, JJ turned up in a bus from the BWF. Yeah, by the way, guys, you've noticed Finn Balor's attire. He's wearing the black and blue. He's feeling a bit icy cool tonight. Oh well, yeah, as, as, as is a well-known fact, blue is better than red. <laughs> What in the? Wait, holy! Is this it? Wait a minute! Oh. He wait, works wait here. Wait a second! Why does he is work it? here? Um, Who made that trade? Hang on a second, hell? JJ. I'm looking at the draft. It's, I can confirm I it, Bradley. It's... This is one of the new picks. Yep, it, this is one it's of the, the new trade. The, the Why did we agree to that? Why did we agree to that? Okay. Seems like you'll have to talk to CM Punk on that one. I was given a list of uh, people from the Campbell for the team. I didn't know I was giving him away. Well, you did. It's a good 200 years or so since we've had a king here in Wales. The master of strong style. I'm fairly certain the family of Griffith III would be very pleased with this king. Well, listen to that reaction, guys. Finn Balor, I mean, 
this Crown and Wales are going crazy for Nakamura, guys. Just listen to that. Well, not only really surprised tonight. We opened the show with AJ Styles saying he's going to bring the, the AW title to the WWE. We've seen people leave. And now we're seeing the debut of Shinsuke Nakamura in the WWE. The King of Strong Style is here to team with Finn Balor and JD McDonough. Is it January yet? Because this feels like the forbidden door is wide open. And of course, Ben Balor and Nakamura know each other from NXT days as well. Guys, from what, it, from what I'm told, Shinsuke has joined this new Bullet Club. Yeah, it's official. Uh, he's, he's, he's lined with he's him. Once a rival, but now he's a member. A JJ, we also a lot of respect there. Yeah, Nick. Oh. And here come the new day. Here's some more draft members, and they're representing Team Andrade. Oh, oh shit, the Mexican Mafia. The King of Strong Style is in the WWE, and now here we go with our opponents. Can we mute this, uh, this ring announcer? Somebody, Ricardo Rodriguez, I believe. Yeah, the former. There's Rush. I, I knew I never liked him. There's Rush, Dragon Lee, and Dragon Listico. Wow. The trio brothers are here. They call themselves they once called themselves the Lost La Faction in Bonales, but now they're calling themselves Lost Fortune in Bonales, sealing their alliance with Ric Flair and Andrade. Well, Andrade knows these three men. You know, these three Wait, brothers so they're are in, very well. they're in Fortune and they're ungovernable? Yes, yes, yes JJ. JJ. He's still, Ricardo's still going. He is. I think the network are hacking the stream, guys. <laughs> they are. Oh. Ricardo Rodriguez giving a grand entrance to Andrade's new boys. Well, right, just, I mean, I, 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 guys, I want you to confirm on something here with you guys. It wasn't just the WWE who brought them in. Andrade actually requested yeah. them to come in and, and for a good budget deal as well. So yeah, you know, That's what he did. Four, uh, four people in this match of the six-man tag. Four, uh, four eighths, I guess, or four sixths. Uh, we are brand new debuts here in the WWE. And they're here to make a European uprising, hence that's what the, this event is called. It's the second anniversary of WWE's own version of WrestleMania. La, la something Fortune, what were they called? Okay. La, 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 la Fortune la, and Gabernable. Okay, yeah, they're all making their debut. And so is the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, who has made the jump gonna... from the World Wrestling Federation. His contract obviously expired, and the trades happened, and... Uh, Shinsuke has come to the WWA along with Andrade's boys. What a you what a this? get what a get for this uh, for this Bullet Club incarnation. The King of you Strong know, Style. You know, I'm not I, I'm I'm obviously not his I'm obviously not Ric Flair's biggest fan. But funny that, yeah. But um uh -oh. like um not his not, not, Flair, not Flair's biggest fan, but you've gotta think. With all of there these guys coming in who are associated to Andrade Ali. There we go. You've got to think, is there a risk of Andrade making a coup to take over Fortune? You make a very good I point there, I think he's already. I think he's already taken over Fortune. He's well, no, the champion. Well, we, he's the yeah, champion. Well, he's got his boys in his back pocket. What yeah, more can think, you ask for? Well, he's think, got his well, wife, well, yeah. his father-in-law runs think, the company. I, I think Rick I think oh. Rick Flair would like to think of himself as a leader of Fortune. But well, he's could, the Andra could, could, and, could Andrade push him out? Well, Andrade's the world champion, well, and he's the one who's making all the money around Rick here. Rick made was the kingmaker. He made Andrade the world champion, but he has to get yeah, through a massive king, obstacle the, in terms of the game. king. The king, the kingmaker, often got assassinated. Oh, and speaking of assassinated, Jordan Devlin's got went DDT by Rush, and now Dragon Lee has been tagged in, and so far this new team are doing an absolutely Shinsuke's grand job. Shinsuke's hungry, Finn is hungry for that tag. Oh, but they're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. 
This is also Jordan Devlin's first pay-per-view on a big scale. He's never performing a car this big, guys. so I think he's a bit nervous. And guys, the reason I had to step away, I was just in call backstage that I can't confirm. All three members of the New Day all got into a massive brawl with Xavier Woods for walking out. Oh, yes, wow. he did. Yes, he did. There was a big fight going on. Right they lost the six-man tag the titles on the pre-show. As Xavier turned on them, but now they've all broken up? The New Day they is no more? It's not, it's what no I more. Can't confirm, gone. what I'm seeing on my sheet here, Kofi Kingston has confirmed to me that he has signed a brand new contract with the WWF. Wow. So Kofi's walked out then, basically. And Big E, yes, we don't Kofi know what... Out. Look out! Oh, super to the corner, oh, wow. and Balor went forward like an accordion by Rush. Now that was impressive. I, I can't confirm that Xavier and Big E are both still have WWE contracts, so I don't know what's going to happen there. No. But according to, you might well, have to sell it in the it. ring. You want a German? This could be it. No, now he gets out. Shinsuke Nakamura is hungry. You can see him. He's itching on the outside. He wants in there. I will give. I will give you guys a little bit of context because obviously um, we've got a lot of new go a lot of new guys here. Roosh. Realistico and uh, Dragon Lee have all competed massively for um, CMLL in um, in Mexico. Uh, big stars over there, obviously connected to Andrade because um, they, I believe they're distantly related. Oh. Um, there here comes Nakamura, there they he were, goes. They were his boys in AEW and here comes Shinsuke yes, Nakamura. The King of Strong Style preparing to lay it down. Roosh, 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 they call him El Toro Blanco, the white bull. Yeah. But he, he fights like, well, he does fight like one. Well, right now, they're calling him Andrade's like, bitch. He fought, yeah, but he now he comes he fights, like, like, he, fights oh. like, he fights like a bull. I certainly would not want to get in the way of a Roosh spear anytime no. soon. No. Well, Delistico well, well, is in the ring now. I don't want to get bit by Shinsuke Nakamura right now. This crowd in Cardiff, oh. Wales, are going wild. Look at Shinsuke Nakamura go. That is the king of strong style right there. The former and World Wrestling Federation awesome. Intercontinental Champion is here in the WWE. Blade. Blade. What a change Same that will Blade. be to the to the upper, upper or echelons of the world of the World Wrestling Alliance. Yeah, the, the complexion of, of WWE has changed. The last time we saw Shinsuke, he took John Cena to the limit in Tokyo and almost dethroned him. Yes, he did. And you're telling yeah. me, Bradley, it's been confirmed that Nakamura is teamed with Finn Balor. They're reforming the Bullet Club with Nakamura. It's re-official, yes. Yes, yes. yes. It, no, no that is, that is crazy. Finn Balor, Finn Balor, Gordon How Devlin, big is that group? Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, and now Shinsuke Nakamura. But what does Bullet this mean, though? Bullet, that, Bullet, just to put that in perspective, folks, that is like Sting joining the NWO. And not, and not the Wolf Pack, the actual NWO. Nakamura was a vehement nemesis of, of the Bullet Club, their entire existence in New Japan. Apparently now he has joined with them as they're against think, the evil of Ric Flair, I, I guess. This uh, yeah, I think, he realizes, I think he realizes the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And he obviously is oh, yeah. not a fan this of is, this. Oh, is look at this! Bullet Club, and they're Whoa! Good boys. Look Whoa! At Panama Sunrise! Change of Adam Cole by Dolistico. That was impressive. What you've got to remember is it's about, it's oh. about, the, it's about, the, um, it's about the context of the group. Uh, when the Bullet Club debuted in Japan, where Nakamura already was, the Bullet Club were the American outsiders coming in to cause chaos and cause havoc. Here, they're the here they're the they're oh, the outsiders really like against against a different form of authority. Well, they're not here so, to take over the WWE. They're here to save yeah, but the WWE Naka away from this. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. If Shinsei Nakamura has got a plush new contract with the WWE, guess who he's got to thank for it? Ric Flair, right? Well, yeah, well, well, we just saw Pretty Sunday by Finn Balor. Somebody made the deal. I, I, I need to speak to whoever made the deal to oh. trade Nakamura away. Oh, I 16 gotta give 13. This in my mind. Oh, Rouge gets dropped in the 16 13, and Drillistico is out. 19 13. Dragon Lee's was, was 300 years earlier. Hold on, hold on a second, guys. <laughs> Maybe in the WWE it's gone back in time. Yeah. I'm getting confirmation, guys. I mean, we are in the 50s the before, here. That before Triple H was traded to All Elite Wrestling, he apparently made the deal to bring Nakamura over here. He oh, what? Wait a minute. What the hell have I missed? 
So that's what happened, Bradley. So yeah, that's Triple how H Nakamura just, came through. Triple H was I'm taking actually playing chauffeur for the special guest later on, and this shit happened. Triple H straight apparently made the deal, but Triple H has now apparently signed with All Elite Wrestling and sold his stock in WWE. He has 50% ownership of the WWE that he acquired with the, the whole coup that happened in December. He has sold it to the network, whoever the hell the network are. But right now, guys, look who's in the okay. ring again. Dragon Lee's in the Better ring. Better not be the Dave now. This match has been oh, hot and fast-paced. I, I, I can't confirm or deny if I know who's in charge of the network. Oh, Lord. Well, let's get back to the match, guys. This match has been fantastic, non-stop. Yes, it has. I can also tell you, I can also tell you, JJ, apparently Dave Batista has also been acquired by the WWE for his going Ric Flair. Yeah, well, we saw that when he took out oh, wow. Triple H wow. back. He took out Triple H on that live feed. First Dragon Garana by Dragon Lee. Hey. That's a poison He's, Rana, but... Well, well, no evolution reunion oh, anytime soon, I suppose. What's yeah. this? Nope. What is this? What is this? Look at this, oh, guys. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Holy no, I've seen this that. before. Oh, oh God! God! Oh, the package oh, suplex. What was that? JD hey. just got his JD wrong. I was just I've, a I've, took a power driver at some I've heard that called a penalizer, but I don't know what I don't know what it was. <laughs> I think uh, uh, Jesus. I think Jordan I think Jordan Devlin probably thinks his name is JD McDonough after that. Bradley, Bradley, you might want to give him a big check because I think he's been spiked. Oh he, uh, Bradley's gonna have to get that little torch and shine it in his eyes and see if his eyes respond after the match. Oh John yeah, Devlin's yeah. out guys, he's well, not moving. I, I think he He's now out. has a normal sized head at least. Just when we thought he was getting better and better, it looks like his career may have been cut short and a base oh. suplex by Rush. You gotta think I enjoy it. I did I did say earlier in the match, Rush is a dangerous man. Well he, I think Dragon Lee's more yeah. dangerous with that movie just pulled off. And now a tag made back to Delistico. They're working so there well. Is a the reason, there is a reason this group in English is known as the ungovernables because well, oh, every Dreesico. company every company they have gone to cannot control them and this is where I think Ric Flair may, Ric Flair may be biting off more than he can chew uh, because yeah. I don't think he can control these men only Andrade can control them because well, he knows them better than anybody can, it's, oh it's it's Tiger Bomb Andrade and Ric Flair but Gordon Devlin is fighting back here Rick, 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 Flair, Rick Flair can't oh. control the financial spending of this company. He ain't going to no, be able cannot. to control the... Rick Flair is control. controlling the financial spending of this company. That's the problem. He's spending too look much. Look how much... Yeah, look how how much it, just in this shot right here. How many, look, how many look, Rick look Flair the, logos? Look at this ring and, this, and the mat. And, is that blue too? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yep, not Ray is. Thompson. Oh, My God. I, I, hate, I hate to shill for the authority around here, but... And I thought... I thought but, my Taco Bell table was bad. But having corporate sponsorships will bring in money to the company. So at least Conrad, at least, S says, is, says the guy with no money. Yeah, the contract, the to be the yeah, but the corporate sponsorships are coming from. from yeah, but Tom, yes. the sport corporate sponsorships are going from one pocket of Ric Flair to the other pocket of Ric Flair. There'll be empty pockets for Rick oh, Flair when oh, this night's as, over. As, as the said, sponsorships are from Flair himself and his son-in-law. It's not like we're bringing Conrad, in KFC Conrad, here. Well, Conrad doesn't own Blue <laughs> they're, a, they're a sponsorship. They're a company that well, sponsors... Well, Rush's on the top. Oh, well, Rush's on the top. Rush. Well, 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 Blue, Blue Ballard energy, is going to send Rush off. Blue Energy, you've got a point. But Blue Chew is not one of no, his No, but yes, yeah, but... You know oh, Conrad's getting a cut, he's their biggest fan. It. He's got to get in. Oh, of course he is, you know, but, you know. Oh. And, 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 and to your point, JJ, yes, says the guy who hasn't got any money, because I can't get corporate sponsorship. If I could get sponsorship, oh. do you think I wouldn't? No, no. It, it what a shame. Of, what a shame. The NWA can't get corporate sponsorship. WWE might follow so Maybe if you played nice with others once in a while, you could. All I'm saying is that under Glenn we had KFC and Burger King, and under Ric Flair we've got Blue Chew. Well, as as as, as I think as I think. Hang on, guys. No, Rush is going for the top. Oh, well. As I, wow. Oh, oh, wow. What a move that was. The best of Blue Chew experience. 
as I think, as I think, the fans here are learning. Life under Ric Flair isn't. isn't I mean, all look gold. at look at the blatant, no, not again. the blatant. Oh God! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! What a That's the driver. Can I just talk about the 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 blatant egotism? That look at the mat. It says Ric Flair's WWA. Look yes, at how many. Look in the wide yeah. hard cam shot. How many pictures of his face are on the shot? Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, no. Wait, no, no, wait a second. Finn Balor had his hand on the rope. What kind of bull crap is this? That was not. He doesn't see it. No, no, no Bradley. That was not a referee. Oh, from Mr. That was a Mr. NWA president. You want to talk about my general manager? Look at this crap. That was a that was a fortune referee doing the match there, guys. Well, oh, ev 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 oh, yeah. everyone the wants referees. to talk about my guy. My guy this, my guy that. Look at this. This I isn't know. right. I can confirm, guys. That was Nick Patrick. It Apparently was. I have. I've been, I, I, I've, been, I've, been, I've been very clear Gosh. about my about Seven my moves. distaste for Ric Flair. Seven the man fired me. Seven. Yeah, well, besides this, well, guys, the main right? story tonight but is that Rush down the this match on their I, debut. But, un but unfortunately, unfortunately, you've got to go. You've got to go on. What have you done? What have you done for or to me recently? And your man got me kicked out of fucking Butlins. So fuck you. Well, oh, either way, oh. we'll, 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 we'll sell Tom, this after Tom, you need to cool down a bit, man. Yeah, we absolutely cool, like, will. Great, great, here's a, a great here's performance by I used to uh, like you. Los and Gavernables. Yeah, but con definitely a controversial finish as Finn Balor did have his hand on the bottom rope. But nevertheless, we're going over to this grudge match between these men studying from the art of war. Introducing first. The Lone Wolf Baron Corbin and Samoa Joe. It's been Where personal. Now they're going to settle it. I don't know why, guys, but for some reason, oh. when I saw Samoa oh. Joe backstage earlier, he had this strange look on his face and a piece of paper in his hand. I don't know what that was about. Well, you want to get the confirmation, Bradley, and you guys listening live? Well, it comes with a heavy heart, I have to bring this up. Um, as much as I don't want to say it, this is actually Samoa Joe's last night in the WWE. His contract expired what the hell is happening here then Red joe, did not, I think joe did not want to leave joe well, did know, not want to leave it's almost WWE like it's almost like a draft so just badly. happened huh? I, I can well, confirm I rip flair made when rip flair made the deal for aj styles the person that he traded was samoa joe Indeed, think, Joe did I not want to go to our elite. He wanted to I stay think, with AJ, but I think we're learning. I what think we're I learning. I think well, I think we're learning at this point that a lot of the trades that went down probably wouldn't if Glenn was in charge. But you know, well, this is well, guys, this is it. Win, lose, or draw. This is Joe's last night, and Joe said, and "If I'm going to win, I'll, I'll go out swinging like I always do." More. And he's going to do it for me and for the WWE fans and for this company that he revolutionized back in Birmingham. Well, and you can typical Ric Flair trading away so one of those popular WWE wrestlers for his so friend. And of well, course, you know, yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. He traded him for the current AEW World Champion. It was I, a I mean, I mean, look, it's AJ, the, the, style. the phenomenal of AJ Styles. That was a hell of a trade. I would have made that trade too. It's just suspicious that Rick and AJ had a relationship a long time ago. Yeah, and and it's 2014 we and we're yeah. or 20 2024, excuse me, <laughs> and we're back at it. <laughs> I mean, you've the, the, you've you've, you've, you've also you've also got to think one of the last one of the feuds that Samoa Joe had right up towards the end of last year was with triple h That's so true. it was is, is rick flair getting rid of all the possible dangerous threats to him like M samoa maybe, joe it's, it's a, a dangerous threat to enjoy like, his world can, title i know i know and I, I i i know it would i know it wouldn't happen because uh, uh the powers that be and all but you can bet rick flair was trying to shop kane to everybody and anywhere you know yeah, Joe could have been one of them. But anyways, guys, Tom, you make some good points there. I'll take you that for Rick granted. But right now, Ric Flair is threatened by a but man. In any case, is well, these men are threatened because this this match goes all the way back to the Art of War, where Joe was eliminated by Baron Corbin. But then Joe took it very personally, and they attacked Baron in the back. They had a brawl. They've been battling back and forth on WWE television for the past couple of months. Now they're going to settle it here. 
the European yeah. uprising on Joe's last night in the company. And Baron and Corbin uh, cost uh, cost Joe the, the tag team tournament. Yeah. Yes, he did with Keith Lee, who I'm sad to say has also left the WWE. My God. What the what the what the hell is going on around? We've got a lot of new faces, but we've got a lot of old faces leaving, huh? Yeah. Keith Lee briefly oh. worked for me for about half an hour. Yeah. Keith Lee didn't want to leave Whoa. either. I'm not joking to you guys. Most of the guys who were lost did not want to go to the other companies. They felt safe and secure in WWE. That, and that's, Joe's, your, that's your story and you're sticking to it. Yeah. yeah that's what yeah. I'm saying, Zeb. <laughs> <laughs> they, so, so, they were so that's, safe and so secure that they ended up working somewhere else. Yeah. That's Joe not did the, not that, want to leave this company. This, that is, well, Samoa, Samoa Joe, maybe. Well, vintage that's Samoa not, Joe. Here we go. That is, oh, wow. that Joe, is not the, Joe with these rapid shots. Samoa Joe, maybe. That's Joe on display. That is not the story I've heard from a few of the people who've crossed my path from the, from well, the recent drafts. Well, you, you say what yeah, you need to say. Yeah, but Glenn, they're not, they're not again. Maybe they did like the WWE when you ran it, but you're six months out of date. You're eight months out of date. No, that is that is that is the crux of what I've been hearing. What I've been hearing I know. That's what the thing. Been, Since I've been gone, been these guys hearing. don't feel safe anymore in WWE. Yeah. That's why they're leaving, and that, because and of the and first so scandalism. Leaving. What I have been hearing from the people who have crossed my path from trades is it's not the same without Glenn. That's the thing, yes. And Joe, and whether he likes it or not, he's going to win it me if he can. Don't tell Gen Glenn that. He's going to get well, a big head, bigger than it already is. Well, Gen Gen seriously, seriously, like, I, I, I worked for Glenn here, you know. Like, we know the stories, Mom. We heard it a billion times now, yeah, so know, just lay it to rest. I've, and I've Joe's got the claws. Oh no! Oh, German whoa. suplex. There we go. Patterning. German suplex into that back dragon suplex. Oh, all I'll say. All I'm saying. Here we go. Baron Here we go. This could be all it. Baron was, Corbin. He could be going one, down here. Two, no. All I will say is the way things are going, there won't be a WWE in January. Well, think about it. The WWF might go out of existence before we reach 2025, and, what, and the WWF might follow suit. The WWF are doing we're well in business. I, we don't, we don't really? tune in every week and see CM Punk's face all over the ring, do we? I mean, as much as um, I hate the guy. Well, I mean, I mean, it's all over. Oh, the intro, ST Joe, by Look at this, draw. into a pinfall. But you gotta admit, guys, Corbin's I... been a throw in Joe's head lately, and he yes, wants he to finish has. this one way or another. Oh, but, but what a thing, a statement this, for this Baron is what they Corbin. Call a boss fight. Yeah, what a statement for Baron Corbin this would be to beat yeah. Joe on his last night, drive him out, be the guy he can say he, he drove Joe out of the WBA if he wins tonight. He might get a big payoff from Ric Flair if he does it. That's what I'm being told in my headset right now. Oh, of course Baron Corbin did Corbin didn't Corbin didn't come here just for the fans. He came for himself and he wants everything given to him. He doesn't care about the audience or birds he wants. Just cash and pay dues. That's all that Corbin cares about. I, fin financially, it would do, it would it would do me re it would do me really good being the only company in Europe. But I don't I don't oh. want to I don't want to see an institution like the WWE go out of business. But nope. I can't see how, I can't see how it survives like this. Institutions. It's only just started. <laughs> Well, considering considering I've been run, considering it's been running for a year and a half, 70, uh, 76 years old uh, a few months ago is talking about tradition. Oh no! Look at this! Oh my good, the strength of Corbin! Oh, oh. but you you got a point, Tom. It's not about not only about the institution. Might not make it to two. It's about having a big stage like this with mm. seventy thousand people. The, 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 for all you're saying about how Rick bad Rick Flair's doing, seventy thousand people are in this stadium in Cardiff to see WWE. We've got we've got a lot of the biggest stars in the history of professional wrestling on this show, and, it, and to have not have this company, <laughs> a lot of these stars and a lot of these legends would be out of work without the WWE. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, Indeed. back shot lariat by lot, Corbin. Uh, Joe's uh, down. Uh, some of the people, um, some of the people who, okay. as I say, some of the people who have crossed my path have crossed my path because the working environment here just isn't isn't as good as it was in the Glen days. And you, you used to hear the dirt shit, the idiots in the dirt shit oh. used you, used to slag Glen off left, right, yes, and centre. But look at Corbin, oh, look at Corbin just laughing at you. Oh, I, 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 I may have been disrespect Glen a few times. The disrespect from the lone wolf. I mean, come I've done on. It and I was working for him. But Joe is just pissed. Look at him. He's just fighting. He's not going down without a fight here, guys. He wants to, you know, oh, well, kind of stay on down him. after that. I mean, it was Corbin who threw him out of the Royal Rumble oh. when he returned. Oh. But now Joe's coming back. 
The Samoa submission machine has got a both, fire ignited. Both men are this, just hitting, you know, big oh, shot after big shot. It's like a, oh, it's like a pop Joe's gone for it. it. Joe's gonna fly. Oh, 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 suicida. Okay, suicida. So far, but you have to say that this match has been about 85% Samoa Joe. And here we go. Can you push on no. the outside? That's... On the outside, but I don't know if Joe cares. It can't end out here, though. Well, it's not the first time Joe's choked out Baron Corbin. Think of back in NXT in 2015. Well, I mean, this is a normal match. I mean, if he chokes him out and leaves him on the outside, that's a count out at least. Yeah, but I think I think if Joe did choke him out at ringside, he'd drag the corpse into the ring and then just Probably, put a yeah. finger on him, right? Yeah, yeah, he's getting him set up now. Joe's calling for the coquita clutch again. Here we go. Well, he it's going to be, be lights might, out. We may not have to worry about that. He's going to choke him inside the ring. No, well, exactly. He might get yeah. his revenge. There, there he goes. We go. Coquita clutch. There we go, Baron Corbin. Yeah, Good night, like, Corbin. Like, I don't think Corbin's Corbin getting out of this. Here. If, if Joe, this will be a good happy ending for Samoa Joe, despite him leaving. Don't see anything else but Corbin going to sleep here. Oh, he's struggling. He, 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 has, he, has that thought, he has locked that oh, thought. Oh, he's gone. Karate artery. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's locked that thought. Oh, he's gone. Karate artery. But Joe let him go. I think he wants to do Did some Joe, more damage. Yeah, I'm not, I couldn't tell if he let him go or Corbin got out of it somehow. Well, he's going in the corner. He's going to sit him up for the muscle buster. I, I think yeah. I think oh, Joe man. got frustrated that Corbin wasn't choked out. Oh, he was going for the muscle buster, but Corbin coming back. Oh, Corbin with, Corbin with a DDT, not unlike Jake, Jake the Snake Robert. Do you think he was playing possum? No, end, end of days. days. Well, wait a second, end, end of days. days. That's it. Might be the end of Samoa Joe's days here in no. the WWE. Come on, come on, so, Joe. Mm. A joke. Joe Joe And the win. The and much like the DDT wild. from Jake Roberts, the end of days is not kicked out of very often. Oh, but here's again. Oh, no, here comes the second one. one. And I think, that's that's how how I I think, that, mi I think yeah. that might be the end of Joe's days here in the WWE. Joe's eyes are glazed out. That's going to be, I think. Yeah, Joe's glazed okay, over. He's gone. It's over. Oh, oh no. Damn it. Survived. And not just survives Samoa Joe, beats Samoa Joe. What oh, win for Baron Corbin, Samoa, I can't Samoa believe Samoa it. Samoa Joe, Samoa oh, Joe yeah. sent away from the WWA with a flea in his ear and a foot up his ass. Courtesy of the Lone Wolf, it was the end of days for Joe in the WWA. Baron Corbin, it would be the forever be known as the man that sent the Samoan submission Here's machine out of the WWA. Baron Corbin. And this crowd in Wales are just booing Corbin out of the building. I can see some trash debris being thrown a little bit here, guys, so you might want to take cover. Well, he's fighting back against them. Yeah, these fans are not happy that this man just beat Joe. They're not. The, the, the fans, he wanted the a fans, better send off for Samoa Joe, but the that's, fans, that's not how The fans aren't them. happy. Oh, here we go. Here's here's Wait my surprise. The reason I was late, I was. I was surprise! He's the TV back. champion. He works he's here. He's the TV champion. He works here. Oh, he's come! Oh, and uh, look at that! It looks like uh, the TV champ's armed with a sword. He's come to fight and do battle. Well, I mean, well, well, I mean, I mean, in, fa um, in, 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 in fairness to the him, guys, the guys, I will say this: when Drew McIntyre passed me earlier, he just slapped a piece of paper against me, and it was a pink slip. Yeah, yeah. Guess because guess what, guys? He's mine. He's in the WWF now. Wait, he's the wait, he's the WWE yeah. World Television Champion. Yeah, well, guess Not what? Say yet. goodbye to that TV Championship. It's oh, going no, in the crowd. No, 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 Jason. He cannot Raw. show up. He, he will hand you show the TV title. and they will throw it in the garbage. Where no, it belongs. No, no, no. Where the I mean, whole company can't. belongs. In the garbage. But the I mean, Lucky 7 just came back into play, JJ. Well, it can't happen in the WWF. Oh, no, There's the no poor way. Lucky 7 this, Lucky 7 that. Guess what? It's gone now. McIntyre has taken it to the World Wrestling Federation. Well, I, I believe he's got to defend the title tonight first. Is that the Oh, uh, it'll, it'll, yeah, I'm com I'm confident. Look, I, w I had a clear mission to bring Drew McIntyre back to the WWF with nothing bad happening, and that is exactly but the thing what's going to happen. He's going to take care of whatever, whoever his challenger is, he's going to take care of him. And guess what? We're going to fly back to America, and we're going to throw that belt in the trash. But, J but JJ, McIntyre hates CM Punk. You know the bad blood between those two? I Jesus! Look, uh, look, business is business, all right? Now, some of you may have heard that I've signed with the World Wrestling Federation. 
I'm going yeah, I back to I the big time. I can't wait to see you in WWF. We just heard that. <laughs> but there's still this little matter of me being the WWA television champion. Now, we all know this belt doesn't mean anything under Ric Flair. He's destroyed everything that it meant when he destroyed the Lucky Seven rule. And why that uh, network for guy may be trying to reinstate it. I don't think that uh, it will bring back the prestige this belt once had. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this championship off of WWE's hands. I'm going to take this belt. I'm going to retain it tonight. And then I'm going to walk into the World Wrestling Federation. And I'm going to dump this championship belt on the desk of Stephanie McMahon or CM Punk. Yeah. Now... I don't like CM Punk very much. In fact, I think he's a prick. But you know who I like less? <laughs> Ric Flair. I hate what he's done to this belt. I hate what he's done to me. I hate how he buried the tag division. I hate how he sp split me and Sheamus up for no bloody reason. How he made a little thing Alan, between us so Alan that we'd crew. fight. It's all nonsense. And I'm done with it. So I'm going to screw over this championship. I'm going to screw over this company. And I'm going to walk into the WWF still as the television champion. Yeah. Oh, I see, don't here's think the so, thing. Drew. I've been oh. told I think so, Drew. that I haven't got an opponent tonight. Oh, but I feel like my. owning this belt. I feel like my. making my oh, name Scotland. just that much bigger for when uh, I walk guys, into the New York offices. Standing back here with me right so here's now. what's going to happen. Who the Anybody hell? back there... I don't care if you've been on the company for five seconds or five years. Oh, wait, no, the company's only You through. know what I mean. Um, Come on out. You needed to say that. Anybody out back of the there, ring. I'll take you all on. We didn't agree to this. Bring it. Jay, Jay, Jay. Jay. Let's have a match that's worthy whoa, 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 of Cardiff. And I know it's not back, much. Jay, it's kind Jay. of the, the shitty little sister of Scotland. But, you know, yeah, let's do this. Anybody back there? Come on. Somebody with some balls. <laughs> Open I'll challenge. put my television title on the line. Is, does Drew really want to do this? Come on, I know well, somebody's yeah, going to be knows. back there. I'm trying to talk sense to him, but he won't listen. Drew! Drew! Wait a minute! Drew! Drew! No, no, no way! No, no, no. What is he here? I'm going to scrimmage the way. Who the no, fuck is he? No, Who the no. fuck is that? It's Ray 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 really say his name and he what appears. It's Ray Dover. Bradley, it's tell me you being bird. drafted. Did you draft this guy behind my back? Because he was not on my four sheets. Who the hell is this Triple H is doing? Rick Flair really has gotten dementia. Oh. And he drafted this fuck oh, Did you see this coming? Give me your statement here. This is not my four sheet. What happened? Evidently, Triple H, this shitload of trades. You think Grado is going to be back your TV champion? Is this like you are so poorly mistaken. Drew McIntyre is going to take a piss on the WWE TV championship when he gets back to America. <laughs> JJ, you he's super hit tonight. They are going crazy for him. Oh, look, there's Finn Balor. I just see him. What? Oh, he's doing the what two the hell sweet sights. What the hell is this? Wait, is he with the Bullet Club now, Brother Lee? No, I is don't like with it. Always, always nice to have a bit of Madonna periodically, you know? Well, I Madonna? Say it yeah. loud and say oh. it proud, boys. Where did it we get the money for Madonna? Oh. I have missed hearing this song, right? Rick uh, Flair's got Tom a lot of money. Bradley. Tom and Bradley. Well, he hasn't got a lot of money, but he's Let's still dance to it, lads. Let's Where sing it, guys. Where is Deadpool to stab this man in the dick? Sorry guys, I'm just singing a lot. I love this song. The crowd in Wales are singing it too as well. Look, they're dancing to it. Even I'm dancing to it as well. On the tavern of Stevenson, weighing 235 pounds. Greedo! This is officially Guido's debut, guys, in the WWE. Grado I'm looking Mania at it right now. Grado Mania is running wild, guys. His name's on the contract. It's official. We're in his own words. Oh, we're going to match I mean, between you two. Uh... Grado, you, you got a bunch of idiots in Cardiff to sing a silly Madonna song. <laughs> this is a beautiful song, JJ. This is even I hope this Madonna is sues the WWE out of business. I, I mean, hope she sues for all the royalties. 
that she has on that song. This is just as almost as good as when Blue Kane debuted in the NWA. It's up there, folks. He's asking I mean, for a microphone. Hang on, guys. I mean, I mean, JJ, in fairness, the last time these two men competed was in 2017, and Drew McIntyre beat him in 10 minutes. Yeah, this is, uh, I, I yeah, yeah, this is a yeah, this is a match of the Scots right here. In a Welsh hey, arena. Glenn. <laughs> hey, Glenn, he's asking for a mic. Get and he's Scottish? That's here you go, mind. yep. Grado, here's your microphone. Say a few words, man. Take it away. I don't away, think has ever. I don't think Grado has ever beaten Drew McIntyre, so I wouldn't worry about this, JJ. You're getting oh, your belt. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I'm just now, embarrassed. I know what you're all thinking. What is you this match? What's lad going to do in the WWE? Well, let me tell you right now. I'm not here to play by the rules. I'm not here to blend in. No, no, no. I'm here to turn this place upside down, just like I've done everywhere else I've been. You see, the thing about Grado is, I'm no ordinary wrestler. I'm a walking, talking, dancing, singing sensation. And every single superstar in the back better start watching themselves. Because when I step in that ring, I'm going to make you live like a prayer. So get ready, WWE. Get ready to laugh. Get ready to dance. Get ready to feel the power of Gredo. Oh, I'm, I'm laughing at this because when this. Right. Oh, and yeah. Drew just yeah, disappeared him. Yeah, Drew, just beat it. Beat, beat this joke's ass. All right, let's right. beat, uh, beat his uh, ass, uh, Drew. Uh, uh, beat his uh, ass. Let's let's take the belt onto the plane. Fuck it. We'll, we might throw it out of the plane. It might be in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. I wouldn't worry, JJ. These men have competed with each other in five singles matches. Drew won four of them. So I think you'll be fine. No, uh, yeah, what the hell happened on that fifth? Face. Did he slip it on banana peel? <laughs> no, he I, lost oh, the ICW just, World just, Championship to Grado. Uh, well, yep. well, he just got... Yep. He, felt ni- he felt like being nice and he gave that title back to that company. He's not going to be nice tonight. That TV championship is coming to the WWF and then who knows what happens after that. What is IW, IW, ICW? That was the belt company? Yep. I, ICW, yeah. Insane, Insane Clown Wrestling. wrestling. Insane Championship Wrestling out of Scotland. I have never can we wanted not, the ICP more than right here and right now. Uh, can, we not, can, can, we not, can we not disrespect the small indies in Britain from the giant Americans with their endless budgets? No. Thank you. The indie, the indie well, shows in the UK are Drew awesome. McIntyre came out here. He spoke the truth. About how under Ric Flair, his WBA career has been absolutely destroyed. He was on top of the world. He, him and Sheamus beat all of the other tag teams yeah. World for Women Door. Yes, and they then Ric Flair destroyed the tag division, destroyed that tag team, and has just mishandled Drew from the start. And, yeah. Absolutely and messed him around all year. What was I what was I saying only what was I saying only twenty minutes uh, only twenty minutes ago? Ric Flair is driving this company into bankruptcy and that's speaking from someone who is fighting bankruptcy every month and uh, yeah and as Drew McIntyre says Drew the belt Drew the, Drew Drew McIntyre McIntyre says the belt is, is yeah I, I wish I wish I had access I wish I had access Dropped to the resources that this company has guys I went a minute Drew's got a barrel spine buster but let me give you some uh, uh, history uh, lesson here guys on, on, there's been Drew, a total now of five TV champions Drew's been the fifth one and if Greedo wins it he'll become the sixth man to but if Drew title. wins it Drew will be the last one uh, yeah, yeah I know he can't lose the belt if wins it CM Punk is gonna spit on that belt might piss on it might throw it down into in, the toilet I never thought I'd say this, but yeah. Greedo, save the TV title, brother. Save it in the WWE. Well, Drew it's McIntyre says, fine. it doesn't matter if the network's bringing back the lucky seven rule. The belt's beyond redemption after Flair destroyed it with Andrade. So R- Drew says he's doing the WWE a favor yeah. by taking that yeah. belt to the WWF and putting it in the trash where it belongs. It's not a favor, man. Maybe, it won't. You know, let Drew McIntyre come to the World Wrestling Federation and win a real championship. That's if he doesn't get buried under by CM Punk like he's doing in there right One now. What people want that they don't just use to get another belt? We couldn't afford to get a new belt and we're not making any more bats. That's the last WWE TV design we've ever I, made. I, I, I like it's, the new design. The belt makers. I like the, the new, new design, design but I like it, but the belt has been destroyed. It's time to end it. Drew needs to take it to the Robbie F and drop it in the trash. No, Drew needs to well. save it. I, I will say, Grado is getting in more offense than I thought he would. I, I suppose, unbiasedly, I have to give him a little bit of credit, but come on, oh, Drew. Oh, 
Feet oh. is in. Oh. Well, it's one Scott to another there. There we go, yeah. The man just took a dragon suplex and kept up like it was nothing. Come on. Because he was no more. selling it. That's what he was doing, skate player. Anyways, Guido, we're going to shut I have under good authority. This company gave up a lot for you, so. Show that you're worth it. He's a former WWF champion. He's made of any WrestleMania. He's had other belts. And this is where it's come down to. It's, all, I mean, it's almost like I mean, a joke. I know McIntyre is a man I, I, that has I, been disrespected know, time and time again, and he's sick of it. And I'm I sick of it. it. I know it's. I know it's fun. I know it's funny to joke about Grader, but the man is a multiple-time heavyweight champion. Not on. Not on a world level. I'll give. I'll give you that. But he's been an ICW world champion, a PWE world champion, Reckless Intent heavyweight champion. Oh, oh, I'm, no, glad, got I'm, glad, I'm yeah. glad the silly Europeans could sing Madonna for a little bit, but well, if that Greta fun and this, games are over. He is in the ring with Pat McIntyre. Right, right now, now this new game is going to start singing. Right now, this Scott Brooksman is on top of the other one. And he's got it! Oh my god! What? What, huh? No. Huh? what kind of crooked ass ref? What kind of crooked ass referees do you have here? With a oh, back suplex! With a back suplex and he got the belt! Guido's now with a six months What is this? 1974? He just saved the TV guys, title. Guys, guys, That's what guys. he's doing. The guys, well, Ric Flair just born right past me. Multiple times, multiple times champion in various companies around Europe and uh, the world. And now he's the TV champion. Uh, like it or, like it or not, Guido is the TV champion. He's you've got, him, you've, right you've got your, you've got How your, did I let this happen? You've got your Scottish psychopath, JJ, but he's coming a little less golden than you well, might he's have coming, thought. Well, he's coming a lot more angry. Come on, come on, Drew. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll get did him you next see time. that? I just beat Drew McIntyre. And now I'm your new... Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, he yeah, beat it. I know. Come on. Let's get back on we the We saw it. We saw it. You got the belt back. This is a dream come true. Thank you, everyone, for all your support. We did it. The champ. Yes, we is did it. Yeah. <laughs> yourself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 just no, a no, minute, no, here, no. What in the world do we have here? Some chummy little Scottish goofball prancing around with a championship belt? Is this hey, some kind of joke? Triple H signed him, I you're think, is, is what we've got to, You think you belong in this. my ring? In my no, company it, as a champion? Let me tell he you something, it, pal. Me. You can't just waltz in here, beat one guy, and call yourself the champ. But you know what? You may have done me a favor. Because I did trade Drew McIntyre to the WWF. Because he refused to sign his contract. You're a champion now. Congratulations. But you want to say you're a real champion? Then you'll have your oh, first a... title defense right here, right now. But for who? The man who will rip that belt off of your waist and send you back to whatever hole you crawled into. The new Monster Among Men. The new oh, Big no. Red Machine. Oh, where does that Braun Strowman. What? Braun Strowman's going to be Flair finally made a decision, decision that I like. No way! Grado just I'm won the match. No. Gr Grado oh, just no. Grado just went ten minutes with the Scottish psychopath. This ain't fair. Like you know. Well, you know what? Life ain't this fair. Is, this is what Peter's yeah, get. This is this is this what Peter's get. This is not get. fair at all, guys. This, one, this, one, this is exactly this is exactly like this is exactly like just over a week ago when the the. Street Profits had to go out with their arms in fucking slings and fight and, 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 and fight like Well uh, I don't see Grado with any broken bones. He's just he's oh, just done no. ten minutes with a psychopath! And now he's gonna face this monster among humans. And now he's gonna fight this thing, wow. yeah. The man who beat Kane to become the new big red machine well, is now going for the C V title. Against Drew McIntyre. This is not he fair. He pinned him fairly. That was a crooked ref, and you know it. It wasn't a crooked ref. That was a WWE official. No, but what? What? what no, but I think there's a exactly, crooked ref. Exactly. They're all crooked. There's, there's a crooked ref in the crooked. ring now. 
I don't know what's happened yeah. to you, yeah. JJ. Have yeah. you been seduced by CM Punk's treachery now? What's come over you, Dan? Well, no, oh, I, just, I just can't believe that bring, I was... I was told to bring home Drew McIntyre and the WWE uh, <laughs> Championship, and I don't have one of those right yeah, now. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm very to be fair, that that did look like a bit of a fast count off that back suplex, to be fair. God, look at Gorilla. He has no idea where he's stepping in. It was a man. very fast count, if you ask me. Guerrero doesn't okay. know where he is. I don't think he knows that he's the champion. Well, I think Gr well, well, I, I don't Gr think he knows, knows what wrestling is. Grado knows exactly where he is, and he knows exactly that this is a setup. Well, he is. He's just won the belt. He earned it, and now he's defacing in the first lucky seven against this monster among why, humanity. Why, why is it that every other company has got crooked management? If I was back in the WWE, this wouldn't be happening right yeah, now. Yeah, well, your management has crooked teeth. <laughs> Unfortunately, Glenn, you're still you're still in an undisclosed location. Well, it's a good job Flo doesn't know where my whereabouts at the minute because, I, you know, he doesn't know where my GPS well, is. Don't let him track right. your IP and all. Well, he can't. It's untrackable. That that little that little that little where? Oh, no. oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh great! I just no, come on, well, come on, Strowman, just. I would love to say that Gredo. I would love to say that Grado's got a chance, but honestly, I, I think I, I mean, he has we, got no we, chance. Tom. No, he no has, that's what I'm saying. I would like to say well, that he's got a chance, but again, oh Strowman, no, watch out! The train's coming. Oh, oh. The Strowman, we we saw we have seen Strowman manhandle Kane, and we all know that Kane oh, is overpowered. And look at him, Strowman's actually laughing at Gorilla as if this is funny, I'm as if it's a joke. Was, Time to end it, I think. This was, I think this was Strowman's award for, for, oh, for beating oh, down oh. pain and all so much. Yeah, I think this and was... And there it is, oh, running oh, there, we, there we go, Braun Strowman. One, two, three. And a new Watching champion. this Grado, whatever the hell a Grado is, he just Matt squashed one. Oh, what I There's understand. Well, 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 Drew McIntyre, who? Drew McIntyre, who? That match officially lasted 90 seconds. Well, guys, just letting you guys now know that's two tall changes tonight, and Braun Strowman is now the record seventh WWE television champion. Yeah, the, the TV title is now the hardcore title. Well, and new well, WWE well, well, I mean, should have got the gold well, he's back. Still with the champion by the time of our next paper. Who well, the well, hell knows? Well, there's match, there's match one for Strowman straight off the bat. And he's got five well, more he to won, go. He's got no, six he to won go. it. He didn't defend it. No, come he on. did. No, it, that, it, it does. It does count. That, uh, you know, you start at was, one. I was worth. I you win it. Winning. Oh no! Oh, nice oh, take it out. Oh Jesus! Not again. This was supposed right. to face Kevin Cross for the team for the European title. And now it's being taken out again. By who? For the second time. He, by who? By who? Who do you think? I don't know. We didn't even get to see who it did. Happened, it happened a month ago. It happened two months ago at the Art of War. And it's happened again tonight. Fortune just will not let Abyss face for high stakes matches. Oh, look, they're back. The, the, the elite are back. Yeah, the six man tag champions. Remember. The young boys. Why, 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 why is one of them wearing a title and the other one not? Kenny Omega's uh, looking Nick, after the other Nick, one. Nick uh, couldn't be bothered to bring his, I guess. I, I think he's got it under his, under his coat. Yeah. Well, this is for the so, tag team titles, guys. For the regular tag team titles, as you remember from Kenny well, they, Omega's they promo, just, he stated won, that... Well, they just won the trio titles. He said that... The six-man well, titles. Bucks, Come won. on, this is this company. But remember, the Young Bucks, they also won the, the, the tournament to determine the number one contender for the tag really titles care. here. <laughs> and so, Kenny Omega somebody, stated somebody that gotta, the Young Bucks... Somebody's got to stand up for the hard-working... Couple of people who Hang on, Bradley's trying to tell us about the tournament. You can't be buried his tournament. Bradley's trying to tell us the history of the uh, yeah, tournament. Yeah, it's all good. It's, it's all good. I'm, it's all good. I'm used to being buried every time Tom talks over me. Yeah, he does. Any cases, guys, enough of the burying on commentary. This is going to be a heck of a good match. The Young Buck against Horaz. JJ, are you cool off now? Good. No. Anyways. Why did you answer good before I said anything? You sound all right. Anyways, look, Kevin Nash is not coming out with his uh. Kevin Nash is not all right. He's in Kevin green. Nash, he's matching the Hurricanes' colors. 
I'm, 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 I'm so, I can't be more disappointed that Kevin Nash isn't wearing his golden shower here. <laughs> I thought we, I thought we dropped that time. Remember? Anyway, um, Bradley, I, 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 believe I, talk, I believe I talked over you, Bradley. I do apologise. What you were saying? It, it's all good. But what Kenny Omega was saying in his promo at, at the build up to this, he, he stated that him and the Young Bucks would walk out with both the six man titles as well as the regular tag team titles. So, see if that happens tonight. I've really, got, I've, I've, I've really got to be mindful of the fact that I don't fucking work here anymore. My but bad. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, that'd be a monopoly on the tag divisions, both six man and tag, so it wouldn't be a good thing, but. Well, history has been made a couple of times, Carl. We have yeah, a, we've had a new team champion. Your name is Matt or Nick Jackson. Well, Will we true, see yeah. new tag champions being crowded? We've had new six-man tag champions change. It's almost like all the belts have been changing around tonight. Would, would the books would the books get two paychecks this way? They might. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, they get two bonuses. Their schedule for one fall, and it is for the WWE Tag Team Championships. Interesting first. The challengers are talking by weight of 350 pounds. Matt and Nick, the Young Bucks. They seem like they're ready to go, boys, despite they went for the new day earlier. Are talking by weight of 543 pounds. They are the reigning and defending WWE Tag Team Champions, the Hurricane and Diesel. The Justice League. Will they slightly, slightly justice tonight? I mean, slight, slightly cocky of the Young Bucks. Would you say that they, 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 they think they can do two matches in one night? I mean, they didn't, really have, they didn't really have a choice because they won the tournament and everything. But, like, I mean, Kevin Nash is fresh. The Hurricane is fresh. The Bucks, they dealt with the yeah. New Day like an hour ago. Like, at this point... The, 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 what, they, what, 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 60%, 70% at the best? They've got to keep yeah, the hurricane. The fatigue in them. Well, they've got to keep the hurricane in the ring, and the more Diesel on the outside, the more frustrated that will be for him. Yeah, I think... But the I downside think... is... But there's a downside. The longer Kevin Nash stays on the ring apron, the more he gets to rest, and the more he wants to come in and beat the holy hell out of you. It, I, I would definitely say the uh, the emphasis would is on the books to, uh, to keep... Hurricane in the ring, keep him, uh, keep him in their half of the ring. Because that's what I was just saying. Keep him in the ring Nash, as best Nash you can. Nash is fresh. Sure. Nash is fresh. We know that Nash is a killer. Can uh, he hasn't killed anyone? He, he, but he knows how to he knows. dominate, dominate in matches. You know. Um, oh. So he's also well, the veteran. Well, well, oh, he's also the veteran. Double oh, super 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 party. Party. Well, super kick party started early tonight. Well, it was a policy uh, earlier on. Can they continue it tonight? Oh, well, thank well, God. Yeah, you're right. Well, you're right. That, that was the after party. Well, thank God that wasn't Tommaso Ciampa doing it. Otherwise, it would have been the super dip party. Look at Matt well, getting a cheap shot in on Diesel. I don't know how wise that is. I mean, Playing some psychological games with him here. You wouldn't want to do. You wouldn't want to super. You wouldn't want the super dick party because you'd get nope. disqualified. Well, the Young Bucks have been known to be super dicks in the ring, and they were being that way just. Yes, Glenn, but if you kick, if you kick your opponent in the testicles, the referee rings the bell, and you lose. Well, not if it's an ODQ match, but either way, yeah, but it's not. Well, it's not. Glenn, this right. certainly is a paid end of the world. But yes, what I mean, there, there are rules in this match. Pinfall submission is how you win these matches with the tag titles to change hands. In any case, is. This crowd don't seem to be too much in favour of the Young Bucks. They want to see a Hurricane and Diesel get away with this because they've been so well, I, popular. I gotta wonder. To win the tag I gotta wonder. I, I know we're having fun with with the Diesel Kane over here, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I just gotta wonder if there's some heat between oh. the Bucks and Kevin Nash for some of the Bullet Club uh, elite, you know, stealing their shit. Yeah, so sure. yeah. Well, then again, Diesel is wearing black and grey. That's a bit of a DX rip there, I guess. Maybe well, I mean, um, I'll have to say this, like... The hand signs, the, stealing the black and white, uh, you the know, yellow, you know. I have to say this, the yellow Hurricane gear we saw him in last time was pretty ridiculous. This is, it's ridiculous, but at least it's kind of still Hill, it's still Diesel. Oh, wait a minute, 450! 450 oh, splash! I don't know. I, 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 I don't know about you guys, but the books, the books seem very sluggish. Like 
the Bucks seem yeah. very sluggish. I think that I think I think they are. Well, let's talk about they are low well, on energy. Well, they managed to get double that 450, but. Oh, not going to shot by Hurricane and Diesel. These guys, they were very unlikely to walk out of that fatal four-way for, for the tag titles, but they somehow managed to. They managed to oh, come off that amazing yeah. defense oh. against uh, Kane and Abyss. Yeah, yeah we, all, we all thought that was the end of their of their story here. And Can we talk it? about Diesel. the ego of Ric Flair? The, the entire apron on this side is all a tribute to him. It says nothing about European uprising or WWE. Mm -hmm. It's all Ric Flair, see, Ric Flair, Ric Flair. Flair. Mean, Flair. I know, this is ridiculous. You see the Union Jet flag around the uh, Ric Flair <laughs> initials? <laughs> that is not the Union Jet. That, that is not the Union That is not the Union Jet. That is the, Euro, <laughs> that is, that is the European the flag. America. <laughs> That's the, the European <laughs> uprising events, okay? But again, we're flat. But, but I get what he said. It is the it is will, the flag of the European Union. I'll tell you what, thank you, Ric Flair, for putting the European stars amongst the pictures and logos of you. But thank you. Yeah. Basically, will, um, basically yeah, we'll this is the night where the continent of Europe unite together for this show. Yeah, At does, least does, that's something. Ab absolutely. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Dude's all chilling. Oh, wait a minute. Watch out. Abs Absolutely doesn't surprise way, me. Yeah, watch Absol out. Really. Absolutely oh. doesn't surprise me that Ric Flair is in with the EU. What a surprise. <laughs> and apparently these are just most a commentary. The, the, the most corrupt organisation in Europe and the EU. Yeah, Diesel just ruined that commentary. I think he's in a. I think Diesel's in a bad mood tonight. He's not playing around. And here he comes. And what is he doing? Oh, not much. Diesel stop. Yes, Tom. Let's not go on that side, okay? I thought the sense of pizza in my ear could have stalled me. I'm trying to yeah. save your ass here, mate. Honestly. Yeah, uh, yeah our uh, producer here has told us not to get too political. Yeah, gotta be, gotta be careful there. In the WWE, it's uh, you know that's out of the question. But in any case, is well, well, it's it's illegal in the well, WWE to boo. Oh, wait a second! Oh, well, Hurricane may not be getting tagged in for this matchup. Jesus! Yeah, Hurricane Hurricane's probably going to need the little light in his eyes as well now. Well, I guess down on the other side, I think I see him clutching his calf. You mean he broke his quad again? That's bad news. I, ho I, I, I hope. Insert, in, insert quad joke here uh, for, <laughs> over the last maybe, 20 years. Maybe that's why he's in green. Maybe he's been infected by kryptonite. Hey, wait a minute. Is that Matt? Is that Matt on the he top right there, Carl? No, on the top right there, the floor. Uh, Nash, Nash wouldn't have got injured there he is, if he was the golden diesel. shower. Well, here comes Matt. Oh, oh, oh my God. What a double team. Nick held him and Matt jumped on him. I think I think I've got them the right yeah. way around. Yeah, they did. Yes, yeah, Matt is the one in the black hair. What a Nick's loser! Really that's not when they tag the championship. His leg right now. Deals for teams. Oh, here comes the hurricane. And Matt, well, Matt somehow crazy. hurricane was standing back on the apron. I don't know how. Stand back! There's a hurricane coming through. He's yeah. got his horror Indeed. powers in the mix. And he he may be a hurricane, but he's a house of fire right now. Well. He's a house Maybe of wind and he's a house yeah. of wind and lightning. A, bur a, bur a burning house in a hurricane doesn't normally end well. No, it doesn't. Oh, shoulder barge. Right. We're, oh, gonna right. have, we're gonna have we're gonna have we're gonna have a forest fire. What? What? The, the, oh. the third mem the third member of the Justice League is gonna be it's the forest the fire. Back from the ropes. I wonder where we could find a wrestler who wears a mask who's got a fire gimmick around here. <laughs> I have find someone. I've never heard of such a thing. For any cases, now this has been a fantastic what back is, and forth match. What the fuck? What the, what is that? Oh, oh my God. what the hell was that? What's that? That was some, whatever it was. It was a two count. That was like a hurricane smash or whatever the hell it was a called. Unique maneuver there. And this crowd and Wells well, again behind the Justice Apparently, just defied defied gravity there, but. It seems that the crowd are just oh. burping for the... For oh, the wow, wow! For the, <laughs> he went for this? the super kick Hurricane Duck! Uh, okay, is that Kevin Nash? Yes, that it is! is. Hurricane, that is Diesel! That has to look like uh, yeah. Hurricane Eyes. Yes, it is, Mr. Strawberry <laughs> Talent. We've got somebody else joining on commentary <laughs> yes, tonight. It, yes, it is. That is... Uh, Welcome to Europe and Uprising 2, my friend. This is my show that we're on, technically. Even though this is wrote by Rick uh, Flair. It used to be until it got taken over by Rick Flair. 
Oh, yeah, the hurricane, but the hurricane, the chance yeah, is going to be tight. Oh, no, this could be it. Oh, no, no. The Justice no. League, they're retained. Yeah, Wait, Kevin Nash has got him. And no, Matt Jackson's got him down, and he stomps on his head. And the hurricane comes from behind. But the hurricane. Well, wait, that's wait a second, that might have been the distraction that Hurricane needed. That was a hurricane oh, bat breaker. Oh, and a hurricane oh. face buster. <laughs> Glenn, his moves are not just hurricane blank. <laughs> well, how do you know? <laughs> and now the hurricane is raining. The hurricane punches. Yeah. That hurricane is raining down those thundery punches. The horror punches. Right. Let's, let's I mean, the, I mean, the the oh, the 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 oh my god! Boom! Oh. The, that could be the it. The vertebra breaker. That's gonna that be do it. Surely. Damn, Matt Jackson's bad. out. There's a hurricane. Uh, oh, you know, it just it did Nick come through. The, two, the, the three count. And here comes the big man. Here comes Nash. Here comes Diesel. Yeah. You've got, thank God. Even, you've got to think oh. the. Um, you've got to think that the um, the Bucks are really struggling here because uh, the um, they, they had a match earlier. They had a match earlier, and now they're having to deal with the tag champions. So. Wait a minute, Kevin Ash is rolling right in front of you guys. Well, this, this, thing is, this thing has gotten out of control here. Look at the carnage at ringside. I think Kevin Ash wants to jackknife uh, Nick Jackson for that table where you're sitting at, guys. Right, so take not. cover. Yes, he you is. Oh, well, it's going to be, be a bad night for. It's going to be a bad night for Nick Jackson. Oh, oh my no. God. Oh, no. Nice no, take cover, Carl. Look out. Oh, oh, no. Oh, the party is over. over. Nash the crowd. The real life wrestler who, who has competed in Fiction Fight Forever Wrestling. <laughs> yes, he has. Kevin Nash has just evened the odds for the Justice League. We might see the championship retain here tonight. You open up Rising I mean, 2. This might be it, lads. Well, the, young, the Young Bucks are in bad shape here. I mean, Hurricane tagging in Diesel here. Despite the fact he is wearing, like, you know green and black at Kevin Nash, at least it's not a rip-off of his terrible gimmick when he was coming as ours in WCW. At least he didn't go that far again. Anyways, Big Daddy Cool is about to green light lantern up on um, Matt Jackson here. Yes, I know, Pally is a slide. I know, it just kind of reminds me a bit of it, but look at these shots. Diesel is not playing around, it's all business. Those knees, the gut. Cracking the ribs. Oh, Matt Jackson is toasted. And Kevin Nash is just looking very cocky, but he's feeling very good now. Kevin, Kevin Nash might be toasted uh, later on tonight. He won't be, he's, he won't be powdery caking and he's going to choke slam. Doom! My former bodyguard is doing a good job. He's doing it all for the horror fans and for me as well. But you gotta give it, you guys. You have to give credit to the to the um, young bucks. They are hanging in there with this tag team, man, and all for the tag team titles, mind you. Well, yeah. I mean, credit to the young bucks. They already competed tonight, so. You know, Kenny Omega. They're not a hundred percent. Well, Kenny Omega's in the backstage. Well, Kev well, Kenny Omega's at backstage, and he is kind of geeking out a little bit because he wishes he was down there ringside to watch their back. But the young bucks want to do it their way and on their own. And a super kick! Oh, 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 wait a second! A super kick! But will it be enough though? Will that be enough to keep the big man down? Will it be enough, Bradley? Will that do the trick? Uh -huh. oh, who knows? He's gonna need some of the. Well, I was gonna say he's gonna need some of those superpowers, and here comes a superhero! This crowd are literally booming on the young bucks. Oh, wait, wait, super oh, kick! Oh, no. Super kick to one. Diesel! To well, you, you know the, well, you know the Young Bucks don't mind spamming super kicks, and I the think we're about to get a third one. Song. They're just taking you the piss on Oh, super the, kick. Stop acting the like you invented kick. them. The they collapsed. The party continues. They're just taking the piss on Shawn Michaels' sweet chin music, and they were not sweet at all. I think Kevin that Ash is out, guys. Kevin's, da Kevin's down, but also, uh, I get them mixed up. Uh, Matt, that's is Matt. It? Um, yeah, that's he's, Matt. He's also he's, he's absolutely knackered. 
Do you think he's gassed so much that he needs to live on tuna fish and water after this man, match? He, he had a six-man tag match half an hour ago, for God's sake. Oh, yeah, everybody in this match is worn out. Dave Meltzer has given this five stars. I'm just beyond five stars. Yeah, I mean, uh, oh, uh, only, right only five, because we're not in the Tokyo oh, Dome, so we don't get oh, seven. Oh, right. springboard kick. This might be it. It's, it's, it's amazing he got got the Young Bucks collective dicks out of their mouths long enough to actually give the match a rating. Yes, indeed he did, <laughs> Mr. West. Well, now he's just, well, well, it looks like Matt was just raining down them shots on Big D. Now we're, a, now we're getting a vicious side of the Young Bucks. I, I, think, I think they're getting frustrated that they can't put Kevin Nash away. But he's the big man, JJ. What do you expect? He's seven foot and 300 plus pounds. He's not going to be easy to beat. Anybody who's been in the ring with Kevin Nash, you know about it. He's very strong and very massive, man. Honestly. But wait a minute. Nick Jackson's in the ring. He took the hurricane oh. down. Somehow this commentary has fanned out a little bit. Yeah. Well, that was, I mean, that was a smart move. Well, everybody wants to see who's going to be tagged. Look at Oh, man. Oh, he's oh, 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 got off the top. The top to the floor. A fresh Matt, Nick Jackson's in the ring. A house of fire. Maybe they want to be tag champions so badly that they're willing to put their entire buys and their careers on the line to become the champions. Well, I mean, these guys, that, they, they, that was a, just it was a smart move round. by Nick Jackson to take that shot at Hurricane. Uh, some people may not like it. Four fifty. Oh, 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 no. oh no! Oh, this flash. Hurricane, is he going to make it in time? Yes, he does. He made it. Somehow. Oh, One match. Somehow, for the tag team championship. Hurricane. Uh, you Hurricane have saves this miracle team. You have got to give all the credit in the world to the Bucks. They they, they did a six man tag match less than an hour ago, and now they've and now they have taken the tag team champion all the way to the limit at this point. Yeah. This is arguably got to be match of the noise. This crowd this, are sensing something special. This is special a great match for the tag team championships. These teams are pretty okay, hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second, guys. I'm being called backstage. I'll be right back with you. Okay. 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 Well, this is the last this step. In when the was back. the last time that Diesel was involved in a good match? It's been about 30 years. It, it probably <laughs> was some of the matches with Shawn Michaels. Yeah. No, I, I think some of the, the last best match he I mean, ever had was with The Undertaker at WrestleMania 12 in 1996. I mean, I mean, no, I mean, but I mean, Good Friends Better Enemies was after that. I mean, he's had a few decent matches since he's been here in the WWE in fairness. Double shoulder block, but that won't do it's the trick. This, this, run as the, this run with the Hurricane as part of the Justice League. As well, silly, science says it as all, silly the WWE as, runs as silly, on diesel power. As silly as the outfits are, as silly as the golden shower jokes are, Nash has, been, Nash has had, a, had a bit of a career, uh, a, career re, a career restart here. He has. Maybe it was that a good wasn't, idea. That wasn't the word I was looking for, but Renaissance that is a word. Is what you're looking for. Renaissance <laughs> is the word Look, I was looking for, yeah. It's, He's been rejuvenated. That's one way of putting it. I... <laughs> Kevin Nash was rejuvenated. Like and now Kevin Nash is setting him up. But wait, Hurricane's on the outside. He's the legal man. Kevin Nash has been in the ring. And if he gets in the ring five seconds, the match will be over. But somehow the referee's allowing this to continue. Okay. Okay, okay guys. So I've just Look been out. confirmed. Oh, wait a minute. But anyway, guys, I can confirm Ric Flair has made a change to the card. The fatal four-way for the women's championship match has been changed. What happened? Now, 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 oh, now what the hell is going apparently, on here? I, I leave for an hour and what I, I apparently, from <laughs> what I understand, one of the one of the competitors, Lita, which has been traded to the WWF, AJ. Well, we oh, know we. Right. Like she was on Raw. Over. She was on Raw a few days ago, though. Oh, yeah. big booze! This is it. No, no! It's chaos. Oh dear! It's chaos right now in the ring, Brad. The Something's going on but... with the Fatal Four Day for the women's title. That's what I'm understanding. Oh no, a tombstone! Look out! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. One one half pick. of the uh, <laughs> infamous Meltzer driver. And another Super, super kick. Kick party. Oh, that's got to do it, I think. I think Hurricane's out. He's knocked out cold, JJ. He's out of it. One. And is this two. miracle run over? Oh, no, body. not yet. 
one of the Bucks, I honestly don't care which, has, has Nat is taking it to Nash on the outside. Oh, wait a minute. A shot oh, not Jack Knife. Oh, 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 in the ring. Yes. Hang on. In the ring, Matt Jackson hit a super kick as Nash is on Jack Knife. Fucking hell. Nash. Nash. Look out. No. 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 I mean, they the did it properly. I'm, I, I mean, whilst, whilst, whilst one of the Bucks was winning the match in the ring, I think Kevin Nash just killed the other one because he hit his head on the barricade. Cool. <laughs> well, so I think the tag team champion might be... So I think the tag team champion might be one Booking this. Kenny Omega at this point because I think he's dead. Look at yeah, this! Look at this replay! Look at, this. Look at the replay! Watch this replay! Watch his head! Watch his head! Oh Bang. my god! <laughs> Bang! He's, he's, he's his brain, his in brains the ring, are in the third row! His brains in are the in the ring! Matt Jackson row. hit the super oh, kick and got the cover and Kevin Nash couldn't make the save. So that whose fault like is it that the tag team lost? Kevin Whoa, Nash couldn't make the saving time. Yeah. Are you, what did you look at her in the world? What did you look at her in the world? What did you look at her in the world? If you would like it or not, Kenny Omega's uh, proposition hmm? came true. The young yes, Bucks now are. have both the regular cash oh, yeah. and yeah. the Preston Cash draft. Credit this, where it's true. This new iteration of the Bullet Club has all of, well, Bing not all the gold, but most of the gold. Is that oh. money? Oh, this? Oh. It's nothing you need to worry about, kid. You wouldn't understand. It's just business. What are you doing with it? I thought you were competing for the women's championship. This isn't the Bailey I saw at NXT all those years ago. I idolized you. I looked up to you. You were the one who made me believe in myself. But now, you're not the Bailey I knew. You know what, Izzy? You're just a Damn. spoiled little brat. You're 17 years old now? And it's time for you to grow up. Times have changed, and so have I. If you want to be my fan, you better learn to follow me completely. Or maybe you're just too soft for this world. You want me to grow up? Fine, I'll grow up. I challenge you to a match here at European Rising 2. You don't deserve Wait, to face it? me. Wait, huh? You haven't earned it. You're nothing oh. but a little girl in a woman's world. Damn. Truth hurts, don't it? The following contest is scheduled oh, to oh, 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 hurt. And it is true. Cool. I can't What are you talking about, guys? Glenn, will you please stop bullying children? I know it's in your I know it's in your interest, but stop bullying children. She Well Tom, she's, listen. She, she's in her I've first just been year in, my head, she's in her please. first okay. year in the business. She's in her first year some in the slack, business. Tom. The truth hurts, man. Honestly, there's nothing I can't true. do about it. I don't want to do it anymore Bailey's now. Is being a, Bailey is being a dick. I know she Hang annoyed on. you in your so office a few months ago. So, so right years. now, yeah. let's get back to business right yeah. now because it's time for the European yeah. Championship. Yeah. Yeah. And Kevin Cross has got no challenger Bob because the fist has been taken out. Well, so well, who's going to fill in for the monster? And Paul Stewart's power is not going to be anywhere. Get yourself down there, Glenn. Get yourself down there, Glenn. Entertain us all. Get your ass kicked. Come on, then. And Paul goes in the back children. at the moment, he's freaking out because the Abyss was knocked um, out and we don't know I, who's going to challenge for the title. You have no idea who's standing back here with me. You have no idea. He's going to step up. Oh well, my god. You're right. I, you're you're right. We don't have any idea. Hang on. So the women's star situation, you let me get this face. straight. Lita's been paid off and she's gone to the WWF. Bailey's been paid off by Flair. It was supposed to be a fatal four-way. Who's in the four-way now? What I, I have no idea. Paid off. I mean, what I mean, I how much money is he given to these girls to give up a championship match? Well, just to protect well, his remember, daughter, right? Nepotism. Well, just remember though, uh, JBL's cash is also going into this, so that's probably what it was. Well, well, I, right I, now, I, I understand Viper no was supposed to be in the match. But, uh, I understand yeah. Viper was supposed to be in the match, which will suit me down to the ground because. Uh, fun it's fact, it's she signed understand. for me! <laughs> well, he hasn't what paid her off. No, I know. Claire, fun fact. Me well, earlier. I that hope she true, doesn't like Tom. getting paid. Tom, that is true. Claire. I can confirm it. If Viper did sign on your right, to go to your roster, it, that is yeah. true. Yeah, I know. I know, I was there. Claire, signed the contract. Yeah, she so just give you guys... Guys, just to let you guys know, 
Karrion Cross has been dominating all over Europe with that bout since he beat Kane in December in my hometown. But who's going to be the guy to take it from him? Abyss won't have it, but who's going to do it now? So here's the answer. Oh, wait. Oh, it is Abyss then. Okay, there we go. Try. Yeah. Oh wait. Wait, Paul Bear was saying well, he can't. Now we saw him. We saw him no, no, no. buried in that pile of barbed wire earlier. You got to think, Kane's not happy no about this with his arm. So. Oh wait a second! Somebody is putting wait him for a minute. Minute. Oh, Bradley, oh, it's your oh, boy. Hey, he's here. Oh, All right. Okay. Alright, <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, night. Okay, we're having a fun we're having a fun one, okay, yeah. Killer carrying cross is gonna win this in about 30 seconds. Right, okay, cool. I don't think so, man, because Tucky Knight, I mean, this guy has been somewhat on an up and down roller coaster. He almost won a battle royal to get that Euro Tail shot, and he nearly broke into the main event of this show by nearly getting Kane out of that ring in the Art of War Rumble. But his popularity has been exploding in the WWE. The biggest underdog could break yeah. the glass okay. ceiling if he wins this the guy done to a European title shot? He's oh, fitting in for Abyss. Good. He wants to make an impact. Well, this is it now. This is his chance to finally win some gold and take something out of Fortune. Remember, he's fighting alongside the yeah, WWE I, resistance I'm, team against Fortune. Oh, <laughs> he's going to do this for me. He's going to do it for Bradley. He's going to do it for <laughs> everybody here in Cardiff, <laughs> Wales. Just watch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. All right. All right. All right. What? 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 Well, right now, you know, I Kevin do. Cross, listen, yeah. Kerry and Cross thought he was going to have the night off. Even Scott believed it too, but not anymore. Not on this big anyway, show, you know. Right right well, Tucker, you want to step up? Here, here you go, bud. If I wanted to talk about things that were imaginary, I'd talk about CM Punk's likability. I'm a man after my own heart. I hate Punk. <laughs> Most of us He's do, been anyways. a great boss. He, he made some great draft picks, apparently. He's gonna bang with your damn Kobe, I've, though, JJ, I've, for crying out loud. Yeah, like I've, I've, I've got a great crew. I've got a great crew that I'm bringing back to America. All right. Yeah, like Drew McIntyre got beat by Grader. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> yes. That yes. Wonderful. We don't, we don't yeah. talk about that. And look at Cross, just bad mouthing on Tucker Knight. You don't want to go on his bad side there, Mr. Cross, because Tucker Knight may be a big boy. But he's got a bigger heart, and he will not give up until he gets that victory. <laughs> That's a nice bad side. Oh, well, all my years in the industry have taught me one thing: it's to it's that never count anyone out. Anything can happen at any time. So, Bradley, let me get this straight. Tucker just walked out here before anybody else, and that was how he got this shot. Yeah, Pretty much. Why? Right, okay. Said, first come, first serve. He was holding hey. It's, sometimes, sometimes, you know, the best uh, ability is availability. Well, I mean, if, any, if, 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 if I you mean, guys were taken out, would one of you guys fill in if you were to fill no. in to face the champion? I mean, I'm not a wrestler. I mean, yeah. No, if you were, though, I mean, say if you were in Abyss's boots, he's been taken out. Would any of you guys I mean, fill in? I mean, give give him a give him a little bit of credit. He wasn't on the card tonight. He wasn't on the card tonight, oh. but he was still in the back in his gear. So. Fair, pl fair play to him, you know. He was the first man out. He was the first man out the curtain. But I'm sorry, but Cross is going to kill him. Well, we, we know. We, we know this. Let's I mean, see what happens then, Tom. You don't want to count your chickens before they hatch, all right? Hang on, right now, Tucker is taking Killer Cross right to the duck pond. If, listen, if, if, if you listen to what Tucky said to the WWE Universe, he said, anybody gets in his way, they better, like, you know, they'll be Tucky Tuckying and then they'll be quack quacking all the way in defeat. And that's exactly what will happen if Karen Cross and loses it. What the hell it. does that mean, Glenn? I don't know. I it's, Nobody knows. Can you say that in English? Tucky Knight oh, yeah. is it's, it's his new catchphrase. Tucky Ducky Quack Quack. I oh mean, my uh, goodness! Oh my God! What a throw! I mean, I mean, 
Cross. Oh, Cross, Kevin Cross is Cross mocking was, Kane's taunt there. Cross was a little bit on the, a little bit on the underside in the early part of this match because let's be honest, he wasn't expecting Tucker. Look out! We know oh, that. Oh, no, no so he duck. so he prepared he prepared for someone else, but as soon as he gets as soon as he gets himself all lined up, he will start to hit Tucker with oh, shots big slam. hard enough to break the man in half, and then Tucker can go back can go back to catering in the back because I believe they feed people quite well here. Ric Flair, he likes his caviar, he likes his expensive shit. Apparently, you know, he just gets cash for oh, the women. Oh, oh, so come on, Tom. You're saying you don't believe in Tucky Ducky. You gotta no, believe no. in the Tucky. You gotta believe in the Tucky Tucky <laughs> I, and the Quacky Quackers. I, 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 I used to call him that. <laughs> I, I, would gotta, I would, I would like to say I believe in him, but I'm sorry, but Cross is a very violent man. Yes, a he very, is. But so can very Tucker. Very violent man. But look at the strength here by Tucker. This has got to be impressive. Look at the stalling superplex. He's doing press ups at the same time, and boom. You gotta believe in Tucky Ducky. You gotta believe in the Quacky Quackers, brother. It means sometimes all you need is an opportunity. Tucker Mania is running wild, brother. Well, I think on, a certain Tucky. red and yellow brother is gonna have an issue with that gimmick. Get this, he, Tucky. Come on. Even man. the Hulkster, JJ. It. Even Hulk Hogan believes in Tucky Ducky, brother. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, Cross. This is a joke. You're yeah, Hulk than Hogan this. also believes that he wrestled. 400 days in a year. Nope. WWE guys do not recognize well, that. Right he, now, Eddie, who is in charge of this match? It's Tucky. Tucky Knight. And listen, even, look, his former tag team partner Odius couldn't last this long. Tucker's making him look like he was nothing. Otis doesn't even go on TV. Well, there you go. He's with the clothesline there from Cross. He's getting... Now, Otis, to Otis, is making the, Otis is making the house feel so good, all right? Yeah, He's um, getting... Yeah, Tuck, yeah, here, here we go. More. Cross is going to finish this Tucker now. Knight. That's he, it. Straight. Oh no, he counted. Oh, he counted the straight jacket. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Will this Cross be it? Look, Cross looked into the eyes of his of oh, his wife, oh, Darla, and got the energy he needed to finish Tucker off. And this will do. That was that was an F six. Two. Yeah. Wait a second. Night, oh, Tuck. they could kick out. He kicked out. Yes. I thought we were going to get another Finn Balor situation there with that. Oh, I'm now. This Welsh crowd are going Tucker crazy. Tucker speeding off the crowd in a night. No way. This is it. There it is, the no Tucker way. slam. No. The Tucky, no Tucky, way. quack, slam. quack, grand no, slam. Absolutely slam. not. That's the best thing you got. That's the Tucky, Ducky, grand slam. Absolutely that might do not. It. No. That's I it. Think oh, I got it, Kenny. Wait a second. No, the ref. The ref's bent again. No, no the ref's fucking way. Yes, the ref's yes, bent again. That's the second <laughs> time tonight. Mr. Tucker. Bradley, Bradley, he way. did it, Bradley. He's done it. He did it. That is ludicrous. He did it. Miracles yeah, do happen. Miracles that, do happen. Just, yeah, but just like, Finn Finn on, just like Finn Balor earlier on, just like Finn Balor earlier on, the referee was looking right at the hand on the rope and yeah, did nothing about it. He's ignoring. He did not see it. No call. He did. He was looking right at it. That was a WWA referee, not a Fortune guy. Well, he said, "Watch, well, watch the referee's eye line." Balor got There's scored. There's absolutely so no way. Cross. Well, if you had Tucker Knight winning the championship done tonight it, on DraftKings, you're a millionaire. He's it's done it. Yeah, right? Now Europe can bask in Tucker's glory. Someone it's who can make him proudly Knight. represent it's Europe. His, his very first singles championship. Yeah. Congratulations, the European, Tucker. The European you earned it. Tightly, the European title is fucked. Ladies and gentlemen. No, it's not. We've got a real man four, now who can represent Europe four, and all its four, glory, Tom. And now here comes the semi main event. The WWE is Women's Championship. Well, she's still the the least. For the WWE's nice Commonwealth of you guys to forget my pristine music. The winner of this belt. Okay, guys, so let me unified. confirm this. Turn it up a bit. Earlier, Ric Flair told me that this match is for both. It's for both the Women's and the Commonwealth Here's Championship will be turned into the undisputed Women's Commonwealth Four. Championship. Uh -huh. Oh, that's even better! That's even better! Yeah. Michael gets to bring all your women's gold to Rock me! Is, so, so the Commonwealth belt is the... No, 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 don't, don't worry, Tom. This company's got some plan to screw things up. It screws everything else up. Oh, well, I'm here. sure, yeah. Lita and Baylor were supposed to be in the match. Apparently, they've both been paid off to not be in it anymore. Uh, but yeah, apparently, you can't put you can put Viper in, but you can't put Lita in. I see how it is. 
Well, how do you think she landed so in your company, so, uh, then, JJ? So when, uh, when, so when Viper oh. wins this match, when Viper wins this match, and I own all of your women's From belts. Tampa, Florida. Um, well, they're going to the Commonwealth the Champion. Well, no, to be fair, it'll already be in the trash can because they'll be at the NWA. So I don't know what, what works for you. Yeah. Well, Hulk Hogan's not here tonight, but Hulk Hogan's going to defend that belt Hulk Hogan in honor of our father. Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan walked out in disgust at the company, didn't he, a few months ago? Yes, he did. Well, he did, Brooke yeah. Hogan Brooke wished she was here tonight. Oh, Brooke Somehow, Hogan won't... Some way. Against Brooke all Hogan of our wishes. Brooke Hogan won't be happy. Brooke Hogan won't be happy when Viper takes both of the belts and brings them Hang on. So am I to understand that the Commonwealth title is going to be unified with the women's title tonight? Yes, That's, it is, Carl. Yes, that is yes, true. Yes, the Commonwealth title happen. that has only existed for a few months and has just been a trophy on Brooke Hogan. She wanted to show that she could be on the same level as Ric Flair's daughter. She's sending a message to Charlotte Flair. If you can well, be a champ, I can be a champion. Well, that was worth it, Jesus. Until it existed for half a year. Jesus, hold on, the guys. You can also imagine, what if Brooke Hogan is the one who walks out with those other ones? Uh, uh, yeah. The way tonight is gone. Christ, so this, I actually... So, oh, this this is is an, wait, so this is an elimination match, right? Yes, a Fatal 4-way so, extreme elimination match. So, in order for that match. to happen, a Hogan must beat a Flair. That's not inconceivable. <laughs> it's Hogan <laughs> Flair, the next generation. That doesn't work for me, sister. Actually, it does. It'll work. That no, doesn't work for me, I, but I, I think it might exist in well. WWE. Come Let's on, see Carl. Suck it up. More powerful than nepotism. This is the WWE Hogan's I mean, great contract doesn't exist in I mean, this Carl, this, Carl, this entire company is based on nepotism, let's be honest. Nepomania is running wild. Brookomania is running wild though, uh, Mr. Wesley, in any cases. And here comes the original challenger for so, Brook's ta title, Tamina. So, now, unfortunately, uh, there have now. been some rumors, some speculations going around. I'm not going to say <laughs> what, it, what it is. Yeah, um, I I, certain, oh, websites yeah been, it, certain websites have been claiming yeah. to have some footage of Tamina, but... Yeah, it's yet to be verified. Oh, oh it you is all actual. went on that website too. Well, no, no, yeah, we, I saw that. It was. It made the mainstream. We saw um, what happened in, in the draft, and uh, it has yet to be verified as to whether it actually was to me. No, it could have been a fake. You know that. Oh, I'm, I'm speaking of sure AI, here I'm comes his sure now. now it is. Oh, sure oh, the, uh, let's talk oh, about no. that. Let's talk about the 15 time women's I'm sure. champions. Oh, no, I'm sure. Oh, 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 I mean, that looks real to me. That doesn't look like any deep fake. Uh, no, that looks very real to me. You know, that's what that's what that's why I shared it on the uh, that, on Twitter. That is to me. That it's no gotta be true. I have no idea where that came from. I found it on the server, Rick. Rick, you let you let Rick, you, let, you, you left my login. I can't believe for him. I can't believe the password to password one. Anyway. <laughs> Ah, this that's is... better. And now, ladies too... and gentlemen, let's now talk about how Charlotte Flair will walk out of here as the undisputed Women's Commonwealth Champion, shall we? It could this very well happen, Flair. Hang on, wait, wait. I think Tom's October. mic has been muted, folks. Uh, Ric Flair's taken over him on commentary. Um, uh, we only have so many headsets around here. Give that back to Tom. Yeah. Ric Flair, I need to ask oh, you this and be very honest yeah. with me. After what just happened in the last match, Fortune have just lost one of the gold. Could this be a downfall? Yeah, how are you? Next? How are you feeling, Rick? I, I you know, uh, this ain't been your night. Just lost you know. the European title. No, uh, Charlotte could lose what? her title with the, with the other belt. This could not uh, go you know well. What? You know what? Stuff happens, but Charlotte will not lose her title. Charlotte won't lose it, and neither will Andrade at the main event. I can well, guarantee that. So you're saying that. at the end of the night. The Commonwealth title is going to exist just to be another trophy on Charlotte's arm. Sounds about right. I don't know why Glenn even came up with this damn championship. Or, in the first place, why did he not just hand it to Charlotte? There's only That's... one dominant woman in this industry. We're and about, to, Charlotte we're we're about to find out if any... We're about to find that out, Rick, because this is a 4 way elimination match. And any of the other women 
can uh, win this Here we this go. Match. Hogan and Flair. Hogan and Flair. It's happening. Hogan and Flair. At last. Hogan Charlotte versus Flair. Flair the next generation. Oh, no. It's Bash of the Beast 94 all over again. Oh, oh, we, come we on, got the daughter of Ric Flair, the daughter of Hulk Hogan, the daughter of Jimmy Snuka. I don't know who the hell Viper's dad is, but... <laughs> Snake. <laughs> Viper's daddy is me. Wait, what? <laughs> Are you I think, you, I think you have some competition. <laughs> Did I just say that correctly? Like, you're not, I mean, you're not paying her paychecks. <laughs> well... <laughs> It's an elimination oh, match, and it's also, and since, it's, no, since it's a four-way, it is no and disqualification, Tamina, and Tamina wants this match, match to stop, but no, she doesn't. <laughs> this, this is the first time we've seen hot uh, women uh, go for weapons. Uh, this is the first time we had women going for weapons in the WWE. Another historic moment. And oh, Viper, God! Oh, oh, my God. God, right off the head. She wants to awesome. stop the Mania for going I think, wild. I think this works. Yeah, this works. Hang on. Yeah. Is that Tom? Oh, hello. Yeah, That's brilliant. Right brilliant. Yeah. brilliant. He left the fucking access point backstage. Fantastic. <laughs> ah, oh. ah, fuck you. I'm back. Um, and Viper's taking the both of them. Oh, titles. that's who she wants. Yeah, that's that, that, that's the girl, ain't it? That's yeah. a good point. I, I, Viper's contract's out over after tonight. She's going to the end of the game. What happens oh, yeah. if she wins both of your women's titles, Rick? Oh, that ain't gonna happen. Don't you worry. Hate that? I, can, I can sell them on eBay or something. Oh, don't worry. It ain't gonna happen. But just keep in mind, guys, this is for both battles, so there's a lot at stake at the moment. There's more, you know, prize on the line, championship gold, and these, you know, these women, are, this is the first time Char we've had a semi women's just, event and a pay per view. Charlotte is stretching out Brooke Hogan at the moment. I mean, and Blake. <laughs> Jeez, uh, man. This so is we've, amazing. So we've, got, we've, so we've got a match. We've got a match full of nepotism. Viper, obviously, I'm nepotistic towards. Charlotte, we already know. Paul Cody's daughter. Uh, nepotism. I, 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 I'm not sure and if I want to see the girlfriends uh, in the match. So, uh, you know. I'm not sure if I want to see the Tamina footage oh, that may or may not be real. But I'd, I'd yeah, be down. Rick Flair's, Rick Flair's mistress. Anyway. I'd be down yeah, for seeing. Uh, I'd be down for seeing uh, uh, some footage between Brooke Hogan and Charlotte. Let's let's do. I, I'd, have, I'd go with that. Well, you know what you're saying about Tamir. I think it might be true, Carl. And, 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 you, and, and you and you give me, and you give me stick for sex shows. Well, you know, this, it might be true. It might be false. But Hogan I might have to go to the next generation. I mean, she's got to be better than she is at wrestling. I mean, yeah. Do, I mean, the, the, the do, last guys. Hogan oh, no, sex show wasn't oh. great. Oh, the, the last no. Hogan sex tape wasn't all that good. In oh, yeah. <laughs> what, it was more of this. Sh it was hot as shit. I'm not. I'm, oh. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, obviously, the footage that has been leaked out by me. Um, uh, Listen, Tom. It's not bad. I'll take it. 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 i those pictures are faker than Brooke Hogan's breasts. Come on, man. They weren't. I those found, weren't. I found, I they weren't found, real. Don't cry yourself I a found, river, Carl. I found those pictures on the WWA server. The password is password one, and the login is I am Ric Flair, and I am amazing. Which was a fake so, account you know, that you made, you shithead. No, I logged into your server. Hey, Tom, if you're gonna make, if you're gonna Tom. make fake photos. Oh. Maybe get rid of the black line around his head. <laughs> I found exactly, the, you I, stupid idiot. The only edit Ladies I did... and gentlemen, did, this commentary only, has been unhinged. We apologize. The only for, edit that I did was to, was to protect the innocent. I edited in the WWA logo. Now, I was even Jay. nice enough to use the new one. That Rick Jay, Jay has absolutely gone silent here. He doesn't know what to say I, at this look, minute. Look, I'm letting you guys go at it. Well, we're about to see... Right now, look how Charlotte's being dominated here. We're about to see Viper run away with both women's titles. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that could do it. Oh, this could do it. Yeah, go this on. Take her out. And you know the bad blood she's had with, with Charlotte since Christmas Chaos last year. Yeah, Remember how that film started? She's been sick in China on her and making her lose all her matches. Yet somehow she gets a title shot. You know, it's like a six-month tag, right? That's, That's who she wants badly. That Viper's wanted Charlotte that. for so much long. That, fo that photo is as legitimate as the current champion, so, you know. And let's not forget, Tamina was the MVP yeah. oh, in the Women's yeah. Rumble, 
And yet, you know, okay, and she's yeah. so underrated. Come on, Pepe, yes. Wait, what's got a table? Rick Flair's got a table. No, not yet. Well, or better yet, that, that photo is just as, as legitimate as your booking and running of, of the sex show known as NWA. Ah. Well, I did put. I, I did oh, quite you know, well. Okay. You know, 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 our show, month by month, makes a oh, promise. Can you, you, can you say that about Hogan. this show? No. Oh, oh, no. The Brookamaniacs. You're not down that easily. The Brookamaniacs are going behind you in Cardiff, Wales. They're going behind you? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're chanting for her. They wanted to win uh, this. A lot, of, a lot of people would go behind her. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, wait a second. Like oh, Who's including a dad? I've seen the pictures. Whoa. Oh. oh. Well, the giant women couldn't pin the champions. There we had a double count for a second. And now Tamina and Viper are going at it. I'm telling you guys, this has been absolutely a thrill ride. But like you said, we've never had a semi's women's match. This is a first for WWE. Another historic moment. I'm telling you, this commentary has been unhinged. But right now... We all need to chill out, lads, and get back to the real wrestling instead of this stupid sex scandal we've been hearing about. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. We'll, we'll deal with that. In so the let's just, so let's just force it down say, the way, I, 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 I'm, Glenn, I'm Glenn obviously has not seen the pictures. And I will have to say this, Rick Flair, despite you and I, I don't always agree. I don't think you want to at this, all right? So I think you're in the clear. But if you want me to go to court to testify on your behalf, I'll be willing to do it for you for once, okay? Why would you, why would you stand up for the man who f***ed you over, you we're idiot? Going, we're going to court. I'll, I'll, heck, if Tamina wants to go as well, I can do that as well I, on your behalf as well. I, I'll sort this Glenn, mess out. Glenn, I, I, do not, I do not understand you. That man took your company away from you and ruined your Christmas. That man ruined your Christmas. Uh oh, but Brooke oh, Hogan and man. Tamina, look, they put Shut that on the side. Wait until, wait until we get to December, you might get an answer. Who knows? All right. But right now, this is important. Both yeah, championships are up for grabs. Yeah, the women's yeah, title. Yeah, both taking them both. And I ain't and I ain't talking about you know getting a nice full of hands in my rear for a nice grab. Both belts up for grabs. I'm referring to. Okay. Yeah, and, Vi and Vipers taking them both. <laughs> But if Viper takes them, that means the WWE has got no women's division champions. Yep. Oh, yeah. 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 That's the yes, point. Well, yeah. well, that would be fun. That would be fun. Yeah. How, uh, yeah, how stupid would that be? That would be on you. Well, sorry, not on you, Glenn. You're not booking anymore. That would be on Ric Flair for putting both your women's titles on the line in the same match and then having somebody whose contracts running out in the match. That would be pretty freaking stupid, wouldn't it? Now, it what, would what, be, and now, Tamina sure, as well. Even Tamina won't be able to have the belt now, back either. Well, now let me now, now let, let me let me just say because I think it's a foregone conclusion at this point. <laughs> I I am open to negotiate with any brand for the for, for the WWE World Championship. If anybody wants it, let me know. We can do something. If you want it in AEW, you can have it. If you want it in WWE, oh, yeah, I mean, I've, got, I've got to worry about there, the fact that I've traded on Rick, it's going to cost you a bit more than the other brands, I'm just hey, saying. Yeah. All right. Okay, then let me tell you this, you shithead. If it does happen, I will sue you for everything you got. Oh, what? and shot for a nitty pin. He's got him. He's got him. Hey, oh, Rick. Hey Rick, Paul and anything. If you end up on your show, I will sue you for if, everything if, you're worth. If those belts end up on on my show, end up on Charlotte, my show Piper, because out. you. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh, top row, finish line. Top row, finish line. Oh my god! Everything's out of one. And the ref's gone. And now the referee is down. Everybody Brooke is Hogan. down. Brooke Hogan just kicked shot flow and the referee. Can I just say, Rick, pot kettle black, you son of a bitch. AJ at the start of this show saying he's going to take my world title and bring it onto your show. You can shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, do you want the WWE? Oh, I mean, come, come on, come on, right. bro. Aren't you used oh, to losing your world championship? Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Right. What the WWE Women's Title, Carl? The referee's been knocked out again, guys. I think he's. I think he's just had a stroke. And Brock Hogan's going for the leg drop. Yeah. 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 came early. I didn't mean the bickering between the commentators. The, uh, here we the, are. Uh, uh, the WWE Women's Title, Carl. If you want to put it on Athena, where it should have been uh, since about January, then I'm totally <laughs> cool with that. January 2023. Yeah. 
Yeah. But right so now, if you want, to, if you want that belt, you can, you can have that. Then. If AJ walks off with oh. the world title, you can have the. Oh, oh no! I was going to take Tom. Take the belt, Tom. Oh yes. Ah, yes, yes, yes. The problem is Pintamina. Oh, oh, she's been oh, to me oh, my oh my god! Yes. Oh my god! Yes. Oh my god! Yes! Oh! oh. Damn it! Damn yeah, Brock Hogan just got rid of Tamina. Now we're down to three. Yeah, it's not looking good for you, is it, Rick? You're looking forward to the Rick, WWE Rick, Women's Rick title Rick being panicking. defended in a pub. Uh, well, the good oh. thing is. Well, guys, the good thing is, though, Brooke Hogan pinned her original number one contender, Tamina, so technically she just retained her title. Well, she would have, but... Well, Brooke's got the sign. Can she win the other championship, though? Hyper's just been dominating in this match. She's been on her game, and she wants those bouts so bad to take the NWA. Oh, That could be it! Oh, no! Kick out Brooke! Oh! Damn it! And Viper is just frustrated. Look at how frustrated she is. It's the night of Scots here in Cardiff, surprisingly. Yes, it Oh no, natural selection. This could be a Ric Flair. Oh, this could do oh, it. Oh no. Uh, this might come do on, it. Viper, come on, Viper. Kick, kick out. Kick out. Come, come on. on. Yeah, oh, kick out. Kick out. Come on. I'm going to get so many bookings with the WWE Women's title. I'll be able to book pubs and shit. This will be awesome. Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen, this match has been insane, but this commentary has been unhinged because of a bloody sex scandal. And now, look at all this. This is incredible. Uh, yeah, this take her out. Knock her out. Knock her out. She doesn't know how to wrestle. That's it. That's it. Yes. No, no. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. oh, oh Midget, no oh, Midget, a driver oh. from Viper. Oh, oh no. Oh, she did it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> one on one. That the means... NWA is going to end that... up with two Listen, women's championships. That means Viper just took the two women's belt. championships. I'm going to have just... four. Viper just took the Commonwealth belt from Hogan. She's got the I'm belt. Gonna... And now I'm she's going to take Sean's title. You, you, you get to give all of your Nepo baby championships. I haven't it's got like... four women I want to give belts to. You can have one each if, as far as I'm concerned. This is it. Tell them this is it. This is what I wanted. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can do this. If anybody can be Charlotte, it's Viper. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying Viper. it. Oh, God. Viper's oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, oh shit. No. Oh, shit. through that table. That's got to do it. Oh, no. Come, Come on. on. One, One, two, two. Yes. no. Viper. Oh, oh, my God. God. No. The queen no. of the WWE can't beat this Scottish bastard. She can't do it. Come Viper, on, Viper is just super monster strong. She is basically the Andre the Giant of the Women's Viper, Division. We've got a new TV show to. Oh no, on. not the Samoan crop drop. Oh, oh backpack the, stunner. Oh, the Charlotte Flair hopper drop. Backpack stunner. That's got to do one. it. Oh, what Two no. Two kick out. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, Glenn, what the hell is a Samoan crop drop? I don't know, but I don't know what the hell I'm saying anymore. This match has just been legit awesome. This crowd in Wales are loving every bit Come of it. Come on, Viper. Come on, Viper. And the knife is stuff, just like we've heard of that. The commentary oh. crew is going crazy. And oh. Wesley, hey, no, this is crazy. Is lost his voice. Two women's titles are on the line. One of the women is going to another company and she is facing Ric Flair's daughter. Oh, oh that's it. This is it. This is it. Big splash. Oh, it's a big daddy. Oh, 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 no, 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 Oh, oh, thank God! Charlotte Flair did it! She has won the Commonwealth Out of Nowhere! Out of Nowhere! Damn it! You Viper got robbed! Bat, Oompa Loompa! Suck it! Ric Flair, <laughs> for once, for once, congratulations to your daughter. She has made history tonight at European Uprising 2. She survived not one, not two, but three women in one night. And you've got to give her props. Oh, hung in there. Balls. And look at this. And no, I don't, I don't like her. She's not a double champion. Don't you don't do that. She's a women's champion. Yeah. She won Fred that little award. Charlotte Flair, 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 Flair has cemented Flair. her legacy as the most Flair. dominant Flair. WWE Flair. women Flair. ever. Flair. Yes. I'm just growing her flowers, it's I just don't have to like it. upon us, Kane. European Uprising 2. Cardiff, Wales. The Canaanites.
and all around in Europe. They are ready. They are ready to see you finally be crowned at long last, to fulfill the everlasting dream that you have earned. You had won the European title over a year ago, and now, a whole year later, you stand now within a brink of making history to finally win your first World Championship of the WWE. Oh yes, my son, all oh, history is about to be made. Oh yes, indeed. Father, history is indeed in the making. Because I will become the fourth ever heavyweight champion of the WWE. And there's nothing, nothing that will stand in between me and what I've waited for my entire life. Because after tonight is over with, the people of the WWE, the continent of Europe, and every single Canaanite will finally see a true champion and will finally acknowledge me and everything that my flaming heart desires and believes in. And try tonight you and your reign Burns in hell. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, indeed, Cain. Andrade will burn for all the sins he's committed upon the World Wrestling Alliance, and now. Let's go forth, for history awaits you. Well, this is it, guys. This is it. When I was a child, everybody stared at me. They pointed at me. They screamed at me. They laughed. And I hated him for it! I hated the world! Some masks take the form of a handsome face with a raised eyebrow and some catchy phrases. You learned pain! You felt terror! And you found out what hides behind this mask is the mask. I am the face of Latinos. I will be the new face of all wrestling. I love this business. I had my first match when I was 13, yes, 13 years old. I became a champion. The real Latino man is back now. I know the direction is clear. Well, here we go, guys. We've made it to the main event. This is where it all comes down to. Kane versus Andrade for the heavyweight championship. Of the evening. But and who's the new special referee that we heard WWE about? World heavyweight I have no idea. We'll find out. Well, here's our referee. Interesting first the house for a close oh, that is yes. what I leave Please welcome Jay Lethal. What's Jay Lethal doing here? What's he doing coming out to Ric Flair's music? What I've been told guys, he's calling himself the black nature boy Jay Lethal. What? 
Huh? Whoa. Okay. Is that a shoot? Yes, it is, Gwen. It is a shoot. Damn, and Jay I Lethal. Confirm, and I can confirm Jay Lethal's contract with the NWA went out and he signed a brand new contract with WWA. Was it a good fair deal, though? We'll find out on the next NWA episode, I believe. Mm. Jay Lethal and, and, you know, Jay Lethal Ric Flair have a lot of history uh, and a lot of bad history. This is not good news for the Flair camp. I don't think Flair was expecting Jay Lethal to be part of this, so this may have just forced his plan to for Andre to go down the toilet, maybe, but I'm so confused. I mean, I didn't even see Jay Lethal in the building all day until now. As part of uh, as, as part of the network's plan, I guess, to make sure that no one knew it was until now. So that was their plan. Why is he going to be unbiased? I who can see with Clary. The question is, is whose side is he on? Is he on anybody's side? That's, yeah. Here we go, guys. Hellfire and Brimstone is about to be unleashed in Cardiff, Wales. Whoa! Oh god, that's hot. God, that's hot. Through towering flames, here comes the big red machine, the younger brother of The Undertaker, the winner of the 2024 Art of War Rumble, finally having his first main event in the WWE, and has an opportunity to claim his first heavyweight title in a long time. You can tell Kane's way for this. All the K-Knights believe in him. We believe in him. And I dare say his brother from the dark side might be here. But who knows? But I'm telling you, everybody around the world in Europe are watching this with their eyes glued. Could this be the night Kane becomes the fourth ever heavyweight champion of the WWE? History is about to be made right now. Wow. And finally, and finally, Damasi Caballeros! Oh, for God's sake! Oh, God. Not him again! I thought he was sad! El Domino L. Hola Absoluto! No es a solo un cabrón, es el fuerza de la Natinacia! Un garajero! There he is, on the wall! And Charlotte Flair! And his capital paro is a He did a quick change! Boy, él es el campeón mundial de peso pesado, indestructible! Defensor y Ritane de la WWE. De Rico Legendario de la Lucha Libre. Este hombre se ha elevado por esquema de todo. Para confesar en hizo su vida. He's really going on this guy. Could somebody shut this Pero guy up, man? Honestly. Era un lado de esquivas. A la dura extendario. Esta noche. Esa y el tallo. Domino Nahir que leva dentro por terror y espíritu el pase que no quiero limitarles así que vale hace porque está en un punto de presentario con la transformación. Does anybody have Google Translate? What the hell is he saying? I don't know what he's saying, JJ. All we know is that Andrade is the world heavyweight champion. Well, Andrade's come to the ring with Ric Flair and Charlotte and he's got that title, the belt that he screwed Finn Balor over, becoming the third man with that title. And ever since then, it's been a joke. Could this finally be the noise that Fortune lose the crowning jewel in their faction? I wouldn't say History it's a joke. About to it's, be a, made. it's still a respected world title. He wasn't handed it in good fashion, but it's, it's still the world title. Of Introducing the now the combatants. Yeah, but First, still. A challenger. A cavalier Coming by down the arrow. From parts unknown. Weighing 326 pounds. King! Listen to that ovation for Kane. To wow. be accompanied by the nature boy, Ric Flair, and his wife, Charlotte Flair, representing Fortune and hailing from La Sandra del Rango, Mexico, weighing 210 pounds. He is the current reigning 
and defending WWE World's Heavyweight Champion Andrade. Now I have to be honest with you guys, Andrade has been a fighting champ. Well, this is his There is no way the Booby Ring announcer took two minutes to say that. Listen, Andrade has been a fighting champ, but if he was not associated with Fortune, he'd be respected by all. He's brought shame to that title, and there's only one man who I think should deserve it and represent this company. It's that guy right there, the Big Red Machine oh, Kane. Kane. No, the Big Red Machine. Kane's going to win that belt. He will make history. He will take that title back where it belongs. And no one wants that title well, back more than in Vegas Waste than I it do. It would be Come sort on. of uh, the vengeance of the old WWE against the new WWE. The nepotism of Ric Flair against the, the boy of, of Glenn, quite frankly. Come on, Kane. Do this for me. You know how much I've got a lot going on this, man. Do this for the WWE. The Original Kane, I just believe in you, man. The fortune WWE. Yeah. The pressure, the pressure yeah, is on Andrade, okay. man. But guys, we also got to take into the effect that Andrade is in this alternate form that he was in when he faced Ben Balor. So, could this be a, a more, the more sadistic Andrade or the one that we saw facing JBL? Uh, when he was World War this last time, he was handed the belt. We'll see that again. Well, Paul Bearer said before this match, you know, he said if you bring that side of you out to Andrade, it may not be enough to beat Kane, but maybe to endure a beatdown. Who knows what will happen? Well, I mean, you the know? X factor there is right there. Jay Lethal. Whose side is he on? Has he been paid off by Flair? Or is he an enemy of Ric Flair as he claims to be? Well, we're about to find and, out in this match. Oh, guys, look. Kane's actually talking some bad shit to Ric Flair. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, look, for what I Kane understand, is, Kane Flair. is letting them know that that title is coming well, home to Lisa. Oh, hang on, Kane. We have to win. This is not a good get move him, Kane. Kane. Not a good move. Oh, you okay. don't want to get let Rick distract you. You know what he Rick Flair did to your brother. Look, you know what Rick Flair did to your brother at Christmas Chaos, Kane. Don't be afraid to do your little avenge on him. But oh yeah, my goodness, Andrade! Glenn, don't you don't want Kane oh, well, to not want to distract him? Well, this look. is what happens. This, look. Happened. this look. is what happens when he gets distracted. He nearly lost there. Eh? Maybe he's lowering. Uh, maybe he's lowering and drawing to a false sense of security. Kane, Kane, got straight back Kane, up. Kane has a weight advantage, a size advantage, and an experience advantage. He should use it. But the fact is, this is his first time he's been in a main event. How much often does he have these? How much does he have an opportunity to be in a main event in a live pay per view? He's still a multiple-time world champion. Yes, he did. Yes, that is true, Tom. But I'm telling you guys right now. Oh. He has I never really made event like crazy, man. To that point, but he never made event at a WrestleMania. He is made eventing a stadium show here tonight in front of 80,000 people here in Cardiff for the WWE World Championship. This is nothing Kane has ever done. Oh, yeah, this, 74, this, is the 30... biggest, this is the biggest crowd that, he, that has ever paid to see these two men, you know, wrestle. It's yeah. a classic David versus Goliath. 74,500 have come to see this. Oh, look out! I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't proudly call it a David versus Goliath because you know how that ended for the large man, don't you? Yeah, but I'm just saying it sounds like a cliche, but you get the drift, though, Tom. Uh, uh, you do oh, that oh, that go out, the go out. Here we go. Whoa! Don't let Ric Flair and Charlotte distract you. They're just there to. Hang oh on, God, to wait, hang on. Then. What was Bradley yeah. saying, Bradley? Bradley? But to add to Tom's point, Kane may be the bigger and stronger man, but Andrade is also the smaller person. He can use his, his smaller size and speed to the advantage. Yes, Kane, he can, backed but you... a, Kane backed off Ric Flair there. Did you see that? He was backing up. He did. Again, yes, he though, did. He, again though, he let, he, let his con he let his concentration come off Andrade, and that is dangerous in this situation. Do you think Kane yes, has ever yes, forgotten what happened at Christmas Chaos when Ric Flair and the everybody else screwed his brother out of the world title? No, you no, know he's no, after no, vengeance. No, no, I don't think he has. No, he Kane absolutely hasn't forgotten oh. what happened at Christmas Chaos, and that is that is not necessarily a good thing. Yes, he's coming into this match full of hate and anger, and he should be. That is where Kane is at his best. But if he gets distracted That's by Ric Flair and Charlotte at ringside. All it's going to result in, in him getting cost this match. 
Well, he's I got a focus. Well, right now he's hit the cyborg slam. Focus. Right in front of, right in front of Ric Flair as well. He's making a Pin statement. Him. Cover, cover. Kane is actually sending a message. Each move he's doing to Andrade is right in Ric Flair's face. It's like no, you think. Jay Lethal, I don't know if it's on purpose, but Jay Lethal's got a slow count going tonight. Yeah, I think he is, yeah. Uh-oh, Andrade's trying to counter. Look, Andrade can't even... Oh, Irish whip, oh, going for the legs. Smart move. Andrade comes off the ropes. Going for that head, that twirling head scissors again. Classic Lucha Libre offense from Andrade. Perhaps he's only... Maybe Andrade is unleashing that demon form of himself in order to combat with Kane, but look at that! Front forward moonsault and didn't even knock Kane off his feet. Andrade knows his way around fighting bigger men. Oh god guys, you don't believe Kane how much the crowd needs. is absolutely anticipating. Kane I'm shaking like crazy, focus. man. Come Stay on, Kane, you can focus, do this. Big man. Ta get take that WWA tile back where it belongs. You we believe in you. I believe like in that. you more than anybody. You're not gonna do like that, Kane, that'll get you disqualified. Well, I don't know, will it? And look at Paul Bearer. He, we look at Paul know. Bearer in the corner, guys. Is Jay Lethal going to call this right down the middle? He has been so far. But like you said, there's been a bit of a slow but Wait a second. Is Rick Flair messing with the microphone on the outside? Yeah, yes, he is! is. Oh, what the hell? What oh, the hell well, oh, oh, no. Roll up. One. The game got distracted. Oh, no. Kick out, game. Kick out. Oh. Oh. I think, I don't know about you, but I think I just saw somebody who looks like a blue cane in the audience that distracted him. Well, I don't think so. I don't think he's here. I, I, did, know. I did just see a red, red fears blue sign. There's a few red fears blue sign, yeah, but like, as we know, we know that's a thing. But come on, uh, Kane, do I'm, this. Get that belt. I'm, do it for wait, me. Choke time. Wait, come on. Come on. Wait a second. Kane's it. got him by the neck. Dude, he's he's got him up. Look at him. Kane has been dominating the jury. Do it, Kane. Do it. Really? Jordan kicked out. How did Andrei survive it? Oh, that was Kane's promise. Wait, oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Kane was oh, dominating no. the entirety of that match, Carl. But now here comes Fortune to I ruin wish, it. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I had come oh, here with some back on him. Lethal, 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 lethal is, out. is backing them up. He's backing them up the ramp. Yeah. Wait a second, here comes oh, the young bucks. Oh, here comes the It's a brawl! It's a brawl! Oh my God! Inside. Wait, bucks! Wait, pass me. I mean, it's just going all the way around now, now right? Stay. Wait a minute! Impala! Oh, look out! Oh, come on, man, don't... Oh, Finn Balor! He's gonna get oh, revenge on Andrade! Oh, no! No! He hit... Andrade ducked! I think he was aiming... He was aiming for Andrade, but he hit Kane! Oh, no! He just hit Kane in the head! his feet! But that was an accidental... He didn't mean to do it! No! No! Kane, get in there! Get in there now! Wait, that new referee, that... Andrade was in there! Yeah, Jay Lethal went out in the... Damage. God, no, no, damn it! Woo. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, Kane got screwed. But that is, that is, that is oh, excuse my French, hell. but that is fucking ridiculous. Bella, what the hell did you do, you son of a bitch? You just screwed Kane out! Oh, I don't God think it was I think, I think it was an accident. Listen, he was, he, he wanted to take Andrade's oh. head off. Kane's had his opportunity stolen from him. He and had that match. And, and now he's no. been beaten up. And now look, look at the Strowman and Cross. They're probably, they're, they're they already took out of this. And now they're going to finish the job on Kane. Oh no, he oh, got the young Bucks looking champions. back again. Wait, oh, so what the hell that? Where's that? Oh, good JD's God. JD's in there as well. It's we drawing back. Please. It's all broken oh, down oh. here into a brawl between the Bullet oh, Club and Kane oh, against oh, Fortune. Oh, Ballad Club and they're helping Kane and they knew they didn't mean to cost him that match. Jesus Christ, but it's a bloody warfare. We need some order restoring oh here, guys. God. Well, Kane, I mean, get out of there. Is, Honestly, you I just, hate to say it, but the, the powers that terrible. be here aren't the powers that be here are in favour of this chaos. So they're not gonna get involved. I mean this there is some there is, there is somebody, ruined. but I, I I don't think uh, very unlikely, sure. No, Kane, look good. out! We need yeah. some help oh, here. Kane. Oh, Somebody back there, come and save Wait a us! Whoa, 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 whoa! Power oh, wait, a, wait a second. Oh, I've, I've been blessed. Yeah. I forgot to pay the electric bill. Wait no. a minute! Right, wait a second. Oh, what did you do? Carl, did you just hear that? 
the Bills are totally We've heard it for the last, heard it. We heard it for the last month or two. And this is what did you do? Stadium. Jones has been on the line. Hang on, the smoke's coming in. No. Fire. I think. Oh, is he think it's happening? People have woven in here. The freedom has a message. He's here. The Undertaker has come back. The freedom has a reason. For the first time since Christmas Chaos in December, the WWE Savior has returned. And he's not here to play games anymore. He is not here to take what he's here. He's here to save WWE, to save his brother, and basically to take back what was stolen from him. The soul of the WWE. He has come back to free his creeks of the night from Fortune's toxic grip. And ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe it. The he crowd have lost their collective minds. I'm losing my voice. I'm actually tearing These up. fans have lost their minds. I was here. Yes. Everybody's just stopped. What that is, though. But the question is, though, is he on Kane's side? Or is he going? Or is he... Oh, I... Oh, oh. I'm you, you, you had to, didn't you? Oh, man. Undertaker's oh, come home. He's come back. He's going to do it for me. For everybody. December. And he's seen what's happened to his empire. He's here to claim it back. And look, he's going after Fortune. Oh my he's going God. And the Undertaker and Kane oh are whipping God. ass. But are they back? Joke oh slam, God. yes. Come on, Taker, do this. Here I'm driving. It feels oh like Kane like has been the one Takes out Johnny and Rick Flair. No, there's only Get one it, left. Get there's it, only Blake. one left. It's Rick Flair in the ring with Kane. Everybody else has been taken out. Oh, 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 break his neck. But are they back together though, Carl? Are they working together? Oh, Johnny, I'm sorry. It's very clear. Tombstone Sunday. Tombstone Sunday. Oh, Johnny. Come on, Kane. Let's pick up one for Rick Flair. Come on. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Let's go high in the air. Tombstone, please. Yes. No, no. Wait a second. Oh. Kane and Undertaker are locking eyes for the first time. What a moment. Almost keeping out. Are they back together? Is it official? Come on, girl. Shake hands. Come on. Are they officially reunited? Uh, it looks yes, like it. Have. I think so. The Brothers of Destruction for the first time have reunited in the WWE! And yes, they've done it! And Paul Bear was with them! The family of Destruction have reunited to save the World Wrestling Alliance! Oh my god! What a moment! What a moment! <laughs>